Hi, Mike over energy guy, and I was just touching base with you to see if you're interested in the oil and gas business. Yeah, I actually got my roommate, Troy Patrick Farrell, on the phone, too. Okay. We're both interested in investing. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, what happens with your $10,000, you get drilling and testing, and, and we find out we have natural gas or oil, we call for a $5,000 completion fee, and then... But what uh, if there's no oil there? It, it's a write-off. It's a dry hole. Yeah, I just, you know, I'd rather not have a dry hole. We used the 3D... Have you had a dry hole before? Yeah, yeah. We, we hit one back at the end of uh, December. Uh, it, was, it was pretty disappointing. Well, what do you do when you get a dry hole? I mean, do you just get up and leave? Yes, sir. You know, we definitely, if we're going to put money in, we definitely, definitely would prefer a wet hole. Oh, we, oh, yes, sir. That's what we try for. I mean, gas or, or oil. Oh, uh, they produce gas also? I, I guess. Isn't there a name for that when uh, you get uh, gas coming out of a wet hole? Uh, no, not that. I the mean, queef? A queef? Yeah, I think they call that a queef when gas comes out of a wet hole. Uh, uh you got me. Hmm. Well, what do they call when oil comes out of a wet hole? A squirter? Yeah. Right, so the other one's a queef, okay. Uh, is there any way to avoid the dry hole? I mean, is there any, you can't really tell till you get in it, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Now, can you tell, like, you know, when you're drilling, it must take a lot longer to get down into the hole if it's dry, right? Uh, no. I mean, you should probably know right when you hit the, like the plane, right? You're like, oh, this is probably going to be a dry hole. It's going to take a while to work yourself in. Uh, the rigs that we use with them, they can drill a thousand feet a day. Is it a big rig? Uh, yes, sir. Because sometimes if the rig is too big, it just and the, the hole is dry, it doesn't even fit. If they hit a dry hole, they just pop up the, up the hole and move to a next location. So once they once they they realize they hit a dry hole, they just they don't acknowledge it anymore. Yeah, we we just uh, you move on. Yeah, we move on to our next prospect. Right. Yeah. That that's understandable. So, what kind of um, you know safety precautions do you take before you start drilling, you know, into a hole? Well, these guys have been in operations for probably 15 to 20 years. Do they roll like a piece of rubber over the the head of the drill? Uh. uh no, not just not. not to mess up the shaft. Oh uh, no! Well, they they do. I mean, uh, have these rigs been tested? Tested? Yeah. I'm sure their company has tested all their rigs. Yeah, because they should get be tested every at least every six months. You know. I, I'm sure they are. Because it only takes one haul to really mess the rig up. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how big is your rig? Oh, it's not very big. It's not that big. No. Right. Can you ever really be sure, like, how many rigs have been in that hole before? In the, the hole that we're going down? Yeah. It's a brand, it'd be starting out a brand new one. So it's like like a virgin? Yeah. But how do you know it hasn't been drilled before? Because there's nobody drilled in that area. Is there somehow you could tell, like, does the ground turn red or something like that? No. The first time? What they do, if you... Well, I tell you what, if y'all are really interested in this, I can send that package out to you. Now, are there going to be pictures of any of these holes in the, in the, in the, the well, brochure? Well, we've got some 3D and 2D seismic pictures in there that I, that's going to be in your little... Any, uh, how many, any pictures of the rigs? Uh, no, but that CD that I'm going to send you out is, it will have pictures of the rigs. Uh, do you, are there any shots of the rigs actually going into the hole? Uh, no, sir. Hmm. If you go back to our website, you can see we've got a little movie type thing you can click on. Oh, so you actually have films of, of the rigs going into the holes? Yeah. Wow, that's excellent. So, so there'll, be, there'll be pictures of the dry holes, too? Not pictures, but there'll be uh, documents of uh, dry holes that we have hit. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see pictures of the dry holes you guys hit, just so I don't hit them in the future. <laughs> we try our best not to hit dry holes. Okay. Well, that we all do. All right, guys. Do you have a drill in the wrong hole by accident? Yeah, it could be really painful, sir. Yeah, your rig could turn brown. All right, James. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of your rig. Hello? Hello. The reason why I'm calling you today is regarding our walk-in tub with the doors and easy entry showers. Uh, my friend Dave is on the phone, too. Yeah, we both, uh, hey. we both live in the house together. Oh, awesome. Okay. How many people Does can fit sense? the tub? Our largest model, the Laguna, would fit two slender people, but the seating is really meant for one person. Oh. 
Well, here's the thing. I mean, you know, my roommate and I both go to work at the same time. So, mm. so in the morning we have to take a bath together, and we just have the one little bathtub. So we were just trying to think instead of being squished together in the bathtub that we would get, you know, maybe one where it's a little more comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, it saves money and saves time, but it gets weird because, you know, like the other day, like, you know, his helmet touched mine, and then it was, like, it was kind of awkward the rest I'm of the sorry. day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Imagine how I'm going to have to try and type that into my system. You don't know how to spell helmet? I do know how to spell helmet. I mean, it's, it's um, getting to the point where it's bad. I mean, especially when if we're both all soaked up. Like, he almost went all the way inside the other day. Uh-huh. I think I just actually broke the plane. Uh-huh. So you do have something that could fit, too. Not comfortably, but you can fit, too. Uh, I mean, the Laguna is a good size tub. So he's a little larger, you know, built than I am. Um, I can definitely set up a baby consultation. That way you guys can get your questions answered. He's a lot girthier than I am. So, I, you know, uh -huh. I'm a little, you know, I don't have a lot of girth. Mm-hmm. I'm all length. Mm-hmm. I got it from my dad. The best thing that possibly you could get um, as a resolution is maybe a walk-in shower because the showers are actually quite comfortable. Like you can literally fit four people in them, and I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, yeah, because that's the whole thing. It's like we tried and we tried the shower once, but it ended up being like a sword fight by the end of it. So we probably need something with a little more space. Okay. And you were trying to be silly, you hung the washcloth off of mine. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, the shower might be the way to go, because I know with the tub, sometimes if you know, it gets really soapy in there, like I know I was, I thought I was washing my private parts, but I, it was, I was actually washing his by accident because I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. So at least in the shower, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, I felt weird saying anything, because I was like, you know, I didn't want to get him upset, but it was kind of strange. I just let okay. it go. I'm good like that. Okay. Did you seriously want to do the walk-in uh, consultation? I mean, the, the excuse me, the bathing consultation. Yeah, yeah. The more room, the better. Like, because the other day, accidentally, like he stood up before I stood up, and like, you know, his testicles like bounced against my chin, and I, I was like, that's embarrassing. You know, we're two grown men. Okay. I didn't so, see it because of the. Can steam. you hang on one second? Did his bath have shelves? Maybe even for soap or something like that. We could maybe just store a condom there just in case things get out of hand with easy access instead of getting out and walking to the room, you know? Okay. Um, hold on one second. I'm thinking, uh, I'm, I'm thinking we spring for the, the larger tub because we also have a neighbor who comes over sometimes and uh, he might be able to sit between us and pretend he's skiing. No, I'm sorry, but the, you know what? That's that's what, easy to get pretend he's skiing? Uh, no, I'm saying that you're now pushing the threshold of the... Uh, you think there'd be uh, enough room for, I don't know, some lube or something? You know, just, just in case? It's a shelf. You could do whatever you want with it. Let me ask you something. Did, did these, any of these uh, tubs come with like a mat, like an anti-slip mat? All of our surfaces are slip resistant. Yeah, just in case something gets crazy where he's, you know... Pulling my hair from I would hate for like anything that. like that to happen. I mean, because in case I'm on all fours, I don't want to... Hello. Hello, James? Yeah. I wanted to call today to let you know you're going to receive $25 in free gas and 30 days free with our NASCAR membership club. Now, James, with the club, you get things like VIP treatments at NASCAR events, savings up to 50% on shopping, over $1,000 in special NASCAR savings on merchandise and race ticket packages. Really? You got all of that? Uh-huh. $25 in gas, and what else? Right, you get VIP treatments when you attend NASCAR races. Wow, over VIP a treatment? More like, what is it? But what do I get in the VIP when I go to NASCAR? When you go there, you're actually going to get to go meet the drivers, go to the pits. Are you serious? Uh-huh, you go to driver introduction, celebrity Q&A sessions. You actually get to meet wow. legendary champions. Uh, the Richard Petty driving experience. Wow. You get 24-7 insider info, which is a weekly email newsletter that keeps you up to date. And that'll be... Uh, That's all in know. the VIP package. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh, that package, you know, it just blows me away. It's incredible. Right. And like but I said, it's all yours free for the next 30 days to review. It's, it's phenomenal. The only problem is I hate NASCAR. Hello? Yeah, hello. Is this James? Yeah. From a credit? Yeah. Okay, what can I help you with? Just looking to get out of debt, you know. What do you have, as far as that goes? Yeah, it's a credit card debt, probably about like 30000 
Hello? Hi, this is Steve from the phone company. I'm working on the line outside your apartment. Are you having any trouble with your line? What what number are you calling, sir? I'm up on the pole now, and I'm just checking all the lines for static. Where, at? Where are you at? I'm on the pole. Well, what city are you at? What city are you in? I'm in Tampa. Okay. Um, I'm just going to be working on this for a minute. I should be done soon. Sorry for the intrusion. I've never heard that before. I know. I just barge into a call like that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you got to do that, I mean, it doesn't seem like the guy's too educated. Hey, uh, uh, there's really, so, excuse me, I'm sorry, but there's no, there's no reason to put me down. I'm just trying to fix the line. Well, sir, just fix your line and mind your business. We're c trying to conduct business here. I'm going to shut this quickly as possible. Okay, please do. People are so sensitive these days. Yeah. Really? Maybe he got a fight with his boyfriend, who knows. So what does your company do, though? What we what we do is, I mean, we take all your unsecured debt, we negotiate and we'll run some offer on behalf of yourself with all your creditors. Hello, James. I just wanted to throw in, maybe you should just um, you should be careful with debt relief companies. So a lot of times they're a scam. Is this guy for real? You know, I heard the pitch, and you know, a friend of mine did that, and you know, he ended up they never fixed his credit report. Okay, hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Don't touch the wrong wire there. I don't want you to get hurt. He went with a he went with a place in Florida. Somewhere in Tampa. Sir, 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 I would appreciate if you take your opinion out of this conversation we're having. No, I'm, I'm just really fixing the line. Just mind your own business and voice your own opinion outside to the wind. You know, he is making some good points. It was just ironic that you said you were from Tampa, and then he said that his buddy got screwed over from a company well, in Tampa. You probably didn't like the opinions I voiced about him over the phone. And oh, James, well, I would get the name of the company. What, what is the name of the company, sir? Just okay, it's credit. Yeah. That, that's the one. That's the one that scammed my friend. Oh. This guy's feeding me a bunch of garbage. We want you enroll in this program because, sure, we have fees. It's fifteen percent. James, I, you know, I know a place right here in, in Jersey that that has it for five percent. So I could, if you want, I could hook you up with them. Really? Yeah. What kind of crap is that? I yeah. I mean, please stay out of our conversation. What you're doing is totally illegal. Because the next time I talk to you, you're not gonna like the way I, I come across on the phone with you. All right? You know, I'm trying to fix the line, but I don't like what I'm hearing, so I think if you don't go with my guy, I'm, I'll just disconnect your line. You can't cut the line, because I could just call the phone company up and say... I am the phone company. Well, if somebody was working on, on my telephone line and he just did this, I would have been outside with a baseball bat, breaking his kneecaps and probably taking a ladder from underneath him. Well, I'm just trying to fix the line. I probably would if I had a gun go there and shoot him right in the ass to get him off the ladder. Hi, sir. I'm with the dealer calling for your Honda Accord. Yeah. extended coverage. Uh, was this a good time to speak with you? Yeah, I'm in the middle of dropping a deuce, but it's fine. Oh, oh okay. My roommate Steve has picked up because he owns the car, too. Oh, okay. okay yeah, is that so. all right? Hi, Steve. <laughs> hey, sorry, I just picked up. I was dropping a deuce. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's a good thing okay. we have two bathrooms. Otherwise, one of us would be outside the door, like, you know, doubled over. Oh, yeah. We don't want that happening. The one time okay. my aunt was over, she was using the bathroom, so he was in the, the regular part of the bowl. I took the top of the lid off and took an upper deck away. He was below. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, this, this, uh, I don't even know what to say now. <laughs> one time I had a little accident, like uh, on a date. Just a little went into my underwear, and I, so I went in the bathroom, and I had to like take off my underwear and throw it out in the window into the bushes. Okay. I was, so, now... Steve and James, are you still interested in extended? No, we are, absolutely. I, I was on a date um, like two weeks ago, first one, and I went to use a bathroom. I clogged the bowl. When I flushed it, and it went all over the place. I was like, what was I going to do? What did you do? I stayed in there for like a 45 minutes. She kept knocking on the door. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm just, I am just had a little problem. You know, I've just been getting over, getting over something. I was cleaning up my hands. Oh. I had to let her in. That ever happened to you? No, that never happened to me. Well, I not had the chili. So let me ask you this, guys. How many miles do you currently have on the Honda Accord? I remember one time I was out with this girl, and I was in the bathroom, and then, you know, she didn't have any toilet paper left. I was like, I used all of it, so I had to use my sock. So I don't know what that ain't know what to do with it. I've used the girl's show towels before. Oh, my. Oh, my. Right? I mean, what are they showing? Oh, my gosh. Hello, Banks. Speak with James Johnson, please. Uh, yeah, he doesn't speak English very well. Um, which language does he speak? Uh, Uganda. 
Oh my goodness. So that's all right. You could tell me. I'm his roommate. I'll just translate it to him. Pick up the phone. Yep. He's on with us. Miss. Okay. Bye bye. Good afternoon. Speaking. How can I help you? Hello. This is Lily. I have a customer on the line. His name is James Johnson. Okay. We can help him. Go ahead, Mr. Johnson. This is Steve. I'll be um, helping to translate for Mr. Johnson. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't speak really any English at all, and he doesn't understand it, so... Oh, goodness. But he's, but he's really in debt. What is his situation? Can you tell me? Uh, she wants to know what your situation is. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm about $20,000 in credit card debt, and uh, I'm falling behind, and I'm working two jobs. I'm going to have to get a third job just to, you know, pay the minimum payments. I'm not really need to get out of debt because I'm stressing about it. Oh, okay. So what he said was, you know, he's just, um, you know, he's about 20000 in debt with the credit cards. He's falling behind. He's got two jobs, and, um, you know, he's stressing out. Okay. It sounds like you spoke perfect English. No, no. No? No. Okay. Is he current or behind with these cards? She wants to know if you have a list of the girls that you've slept with. What? Why would she want to know that? I don't... Miss? I don't have a list, miss. I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Yep. Who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? I was just trying to help somebody out with a uh, debt situation. Uh-huh. And you went into something totally inappropriate in our conversation. Oh, well, I don't know who you're talking about. I was speaking with someone by the name of Steve. Right. Might that be you? Might. Mm -hmm. Why did you say that I wanted a list of all the women that he ever slept with? Why would you say uh, that? I never said that. Yes, you did. No. Look, I'm just trying to translate it. So when I was t taking it from English into his language, you know, it's tough. You know, I have to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to try it again? We could try it again. We could try it again, but if I hear any funny business, in this conversation again, the conversation is over and it'll be over permanently. Hold on a second. James, can you pick up the phone? All right, go ahead. What I'm looking for are the names of his creditors and the amounts of money that he owes them. Um, she wanted to know when was the last time he measured your penis? Ah. About two weeks ago. It was the same size. It was. Didn't yeah. grow. Yeah, no. didn't grow. <laughs> Hello? James, it's Christy. Are you busy? Uh, no, my my uh, roommate, Eddie Trunk, he's on the line, too, because he knows more about my debt. Uh, well, kind of talk to me, I guess, about your debt situation. What's going on? Well, well I, you know, I just I got think it. He's got kind of, you know, probably, some bills and yeah, stuff and that it's behind. And Say that again. You both were talking at the same time. Okay. Um, you know, just, got I got a bunch of my credit cards, and, he's gotta, and then I got a bunch of school loans. Behind. Let me have just one person talk real quick. Well, I mean, he knows probably more about it because he's my financial advisor. Okay, well, let me have him talk then. But he doesn't know everything. Well, is it credit card debt? Well, it's credit cards, and then it's still also some medical, and some uh, school loans, and a bunch of stuff. Okay, hold on. You're both still talking at the same time. Just James. What did you say? No, I said I mean, that it, you know, there's more closures and then you gotta figure stuff. out if it's and then the uh, car payment and then you know, he doesn't know if he's gonna bring it or not. Yeah. You know. Every time I ask a question, you both are talking at the same time and it's cutting each other off. I cannot hear. Okay, so what do you need to know right now though? Are you are you able to make a monthly payment on the credit card? And if I can have just Jane answer that one. Well, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try we're to, both just trying know, to give you the information, but it's, 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 you know, really sometimes something he knows and something I don't know. Okay. Both uh, of us. You can't talk at the same time. The phone's not working. What do you mean it's not working? I cannot hear either of you. What do you hear? I hear a jumble mess of words. Well, we're, we're in different rooms, so I don't know when he's going to talk. Is there any way he can hang up his phone and come be with you in your room and you just talk to me? I don't let people in my room. So I guess I'll just ask a name and then that person just talks so I can get an answer. Well, I think I'm you know, pretty much, yeah, I just, you know, I have just, a bunch um, of stuff. I mean, I have a, couple, a lot of papers of, down on my mom, so he paper, doesn't have all of the stuff. Know, I think I have it pretty I'm much just hoping that maybe control he right can now. bring it. Well, I, I, I don't have a clue what either of y'all are saying, and I, I don't even know how to help, because I, I can't understand anything. Why? What's the problem? I don't know. The phone conversation is totally weird. 
I can't understand either of you, and you're both contradicting yourself. So well, you said you couldn't understand it, so how do you know we're contradicting ourselves? You're saying one thing, and he's saying something completely different on top of each other, and I can't hear, which is why I asked for just one person to talk one at a time. All right, so what, what's the question that you have? James, you tell me what debt do you have? Well, no, I, I have a lot, like I said, but I mean, you know, owner, and, and the house, and stuff, then, too. You know, I, so I know a little, but, you know, but I don't, but you know, he's been tracking us, so sometimes yeah, he knows more than I do. This is the weirdest phone conversation I think I've ever had. Yeah, that's That was great when you go. Hello? Hello, is Diswald Reed available? Yeah. And I'm calling out of here uh, from f warranty. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, my roommate's here. He was just, uh, he was interested in the product, too, so I just oh, gonna have okay. him listen in. Okay, uh, so are you, you're both in the title, though? There's three, three of us, of actually. actually. Chuck, Chuck, you're out? Chuck? Yeah. Okay, he's just, yeah, it's on the other, just so he, we can all make the decision on it. Okay, that's fine. Um, do you guys know when you guys purchased the vehicle? Uh, 2003. 2003? No, it was, it was 2002, dude. Chuck, what was it? Was it 2002 or three? I don't know. You guys are looking for a manufacturer warranty on a vehicle, right? I am. I mean, yeah. Bernie? Nah. Well, Chuck, I mean, you're looking for a warranty, right? I mean, that's why. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Hey, Chuck, so who would be like the, a good decision maker just so I can go further with that application? I don't know, man. It's a majority rules here, you know. We're at, we're at a standstill. We're at a draw. Mr. Reed? Yeah. I'm the manager here at Warranty. Okay. To my understanding, there's three gentlemen on the phone. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. I'm not really sure what that means, but we need to make a decision of what we're going to do as far as the warranty does go. Right. So we got 19.39 as a total plan price, okay? Uh, that works for me, Bernie. Nah. Chuck, does it work for you? I don't know. Chuck says I don't know the everything. He's very indecisive. Whose car is it? It's all three of ours. Okay. So, do you guys rather pay repair bills out of pocket? I wouldn't. Okay. Nah, I, I think it's easier to pay right out of the pocket. Why? Because then it just comes right out of the pocket. Does that make sense to you, really, what you just said? Chuck, does that make sense? No, I don't know. I just want to get this done. Hopefully we can just close this. Grab a credit card then. What do you take? Visa, MasterCard, American Express Discovery. I got a Visa. Chuck? I have MasterCard. Okay. Bernie, what do you got? I don't know. You don't know what you have? No. Why are you on the phone then? Just trying to make a decision. Well, you're saying you're going to make a decision on what? You're saying I don't know to everything. But how, did I, how was I supposed to know that we're going to need a credit card? I'm saying, you see, he asked you, did you have one? You said you don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have one. Well, I'm going to decline the options, okay? Why? Because I don't know if I have a credit card? No, because we can't make a decision. I'm just trying to get a majority rules here, sir. One of them says, I don't know to everything. The other one says, no to everything. So how are you ever going to have maturity? I don't know. Why don't you know? I just, I don't know, sir. Somebody needs to make a decision in about uh, 10 seconds. Oh, I say yes. Bernie? Nine, no. I, I don't know. I don't know. I say seven, yes. No. I don't know. Six. Yes. No. Five, I don't know. Four. Yes. No. Three. I don't know. Two. Yes. No. I don't know. Thank you for your time, all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <laughs>
Can I get your name? Hello? Yeah, yeah it's Steve. Steve? Okay. Yeah. And your phone number, Steve. Hello? Steve, can I get your telephone number? Yeah. Hello? I just heard a hello or something. What was that? I did too. I know. There's something wrong with the phone. What's your phone number? I'm going to call you right back. I'd rather just get this thing over. So how much are they claiming you? Yeah. Maybe they'll stop saying hello. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. I hear a hello. Do you have? I know. I thought so too. Okay. It could be a relay. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Hello? Oh, my. <laughs> so sorry about that. I don't know if the lines are crossed or something. Um, how much are they claiming you owe, Steve? 42000 Yeah, I can barely hear you because of the other person on the other line here. What? Can I have your number and call you right back? But what other line, though? Because I only have the one line. Do you have other extra lines? Well, I've got seven lines here. But would it be somebody from where you're calling from? Hello? It could be a transfer from another tax firm is what I'm guessing. Nah, I don't think so. You don't? I don't know, but they keep saying hello. Hello? Maybe we should answer them or something then. Yeah, I have and they won't respond. Hello, can I help you? Oh, you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to that woman. That oh, I'm here. all right, so say it again because I, I thought you were talking to me. Yeah. Hello? Ma'am, can I help you? Hello? I don't think she can hear me. Well, it seems like she knows when to say it. You know, like when we're not talking. I know. <laughs> which is strange. I know. It's strange. Well, I don't I, think the woman can hear me. Ask her. Ma'am, can you hear me? Hello? Ma'am, can you hear me? Hello? Ma'am, can you hear me? No, she can't hear me. Hello? But she says hello every time you say that, which is I weird. know. Every time I say something, she says hello, so I don't know what's going on with this. I'm going to have to call you back, though, because it's uh, interfering with me talking to you. You're saying that she can't hear you, but then when you say, ma'am, can you hear me, she says hello, so she's saying it right back. I know. That's can, why it's weird. Like she can hear you. Yeah. Maybe she can't hear me. I'm wondering if she needs... Let me, hey, ma'am, can you hear me? Hello? She's the same thing. She said hello when you said that, though. Did you notice? No, I didn't. Did she, she did? She says hello everybody, every time I said, can you hear me, then she'll say it. Hello? I'm wondering if she needs help. You should ask her. Ma'am, do you need help? Say hello if you need help. I guess she doesn't need help. Do you need help? No. Yeah, help I do with my taxes. Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah, I know you do. Okay, well, yeah, I need help. You might want to ask her. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, do you need help? I guess not. Ma'am, can you hear me? She must have hung up. You think so? Hello? I don't hear her anymore. Now she's back. Oh, there she is. Ma'am, can you hear me? Okay, well, I'm going to have to call you back or let you go either one. I've been trying to get somebody on the phone. Yeah, I need you. Tax situation. Yeah, on. you'd have to call me back because I have a bad connection. No, but I've finally got somebody on the phone, and now it's like I feel like I'm getting the brush off. Is it? I only have one line, so it's not coming from here. I don't want you to take it out on me. Okay, can I have your number, and you're not getting a brush off if you give me your number. I'm going to call you right back. Hello? Can I have your number, Steve? But what is that going to do with my number? How is that going to I'm going to call you back because I have a bad connection. That's what it's going to do. Hello? Steve, you have yeah. your number so I can call you back? What yeah. is it? Hello? Ma'am, do you need help? Thank you. No, not you, miss, that's helping me with the taxes, the other. Yeah, I know. I still hear her, too. Well, you probably should ask her, because then she's, I'm probably confusing her by saying, do you need help, ma'am? I think she's uh, very confused to begin with. 
maybe you should talk to her and say, look, did you just get off the phone so we can get this? I've already done that. Can, um, no, you didn't really. Steve, you just can said, I have a number? You basically just said, hey, uh, you know, do you need help? You didn't say, can you please get off the phone that, so we can, you know, try I to... I beg work. your pardon? You never told her to just get off the phone. You know, we're trying to work this thing out, my tax problem. No, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to help both of you. She cannot hear me because she does not speak back to me. I'm just speaking to you now. Can I have your number? I'm going to call you back. Hello? But it, it, maybe if you speak to her and just say, can you please get off the phone? No, I'm not speaking to her. She can't hear me. Well, she I'm she not. answers you right back as soon as you say okay, it. Okay, sir, I'm going to hang up. You'll have to call me back. Thank Why you. Why are you getting mad at me? Goodbye. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Thornton? Yeah. I'm with the group for an estimate on windows. Right. Okay. Is this for the home that you're currently living in? Is this for the home that I'm currently living in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and are you and your wife the owners of the home? Are me and my wife the owners of the home? Yes. Yes, you said? I'm asking you a question. Are you and your wife... Oh, you're asking me a question. Right. Right. You keep repeating what I'm saying. Is there a problem? Can you hear me? Can I hear you? Uh-huh. Yeah, I can hear you. Are, are you and your wife the owners of the home? Are me and my wife the owners of the home? Hello, are you there? Yeah. Okay, how do I spell your last name? How do you spell my last name? How do you spell your last name? How do I spell my last name? Correct. Don't you have it there? But I want to make sure we have our spelling correct. Okay, what do you got? T-H-U-R-T-N. So I know I'm missing some vowels. It shouldn't be. So, how do you pronounce it? Does it make a difference? I mean, I'm trying to get window replacement. Right, and we would like to be able to know who we're meeting with, and if we have the incorrect spelling of the No, name, it's, this is it. That doesn't make any sense, sir. It doesn't make any sense? There's got to be a vowel between the T and the N. There's got to be a vowel between the T and the N? Wouldn't you think? That's what they teach you in school. I don't know how to pronounce it. That's why I'm asking. So when right. a representative comes to meet you, he can say, Hi, Mr. Thornton. Okay, that's fine. That's what he could say. Okay, well, sir, it's um, obviously not spelt right, and I'm just asking for the correct spelling of your name. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah? What? Are you feeling okay? Am I feeling okay? Yeah. You, you keep repeating everything I keep asking you, and nothing that I'm talking about is making any sense. Nothing that you're talking about is making any sense. To you. You're, you're actually confusing me. I'm confusing you? You're telling me your name is spelled T-H-U-R-T-N. Haven't we got over this? You just you tell just... me that it's not correct. Who said that wasn't correct? Well, when I just... Uh, no, you said it. You said about something about school, and they don't teach you this and this and that. I right, never said that it wasn't... A vowel between I never said it wasn't correct. Can I have the correct spelling of your last name? Could you have the correct spelling of my last name? You keep repeating everything I'm asking you. I keep repeating everything you're asking me? Yes, you are. Right. 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 What, what is it that you expect from our company? Windows. Well, that's clear. So what's the problem? When I ask you if all that information is correct, why do you ask me the exact same question back? Why do I ask you the exact same question back? You know what? My roommate's here. Can you Maybe he can finish giving you the information because you're really frustrating me. You just repeat this. You're really confusing me. So I'm, I'm confusing you? Ahead. Yes, sir. I'm just trying to get the correct information. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi, is there a problem? I don't have the correct spelling, sir. You don't have the correct spelling? Again, here we go. How would you pronounce it? How would I pronounce it? Oh, my God. Hello? Hi, and just to address you appropriately, sir, can I have your name? Yeah, Rich. I'm calling. I work with the university, and what I'm doing is putting together the football program, and then we take out a special section for everyone who works down here called Good Luck from Your Friends in Business. Let me give you a rundown of the size and rates that we have. 
The 16th of a page is a business card, and it's $495. That's you'll see companies like Hudson City Printing, uh, Winston Staffing Service, Darby oh. Printing. Who are they? Um, you know, just small companies that do good, good work with the school. We have an eighth page, which is $850, and that's where you'll see a model pharmacy, Gutenberg Printing. Who are they? They, again, same thing, you know, companies like yourself that are dealing with the universities in various different ways. The quarter page, which is $1,450. These are some of the bigger companies that you might have heard of, U.S. Computer, Empire State Fuel. Who are they? Again, Rich, same thing. They're all in the same boat. Guys like yourself that are doing great work with the university, helping out, showing their support. Half page, which is 2550 and that's where you'll see, you know, Bronx Zoo. I'm sure you've heard of the Bronx Zoo. Who are they? They are, again, major contributors. They are some of the bigger supporters of the school and do a little bit bigger works. And then there's a full page col color, which is 7500 and that's IBM and Coke. The who are they? What's that? Who, who, are they? who is IBM and Coke? That's funny. I thought you'd be familiar with them. Why would you think I'd be familiar with them? I don't know. I mean, they're a Fortune 100 company. They're traded on the Dow. I just assumed. I, you know what? It's my fault for making assumptions. Yeah, maybe you know it. You know, it doesn't yeah, mean everybody I know, does. I, know. I understand. And Coke is same thing. They're a Fortune 100 company. They do billion dollars in revenue a year. Most people are familiar with them. Richard, the size I mentioned. What should be best for your company? The 16th, maybe the 8th. Which ones did you mention? The 16th, the 8th, the quarter, the half, the full page color. You mentioned all of them? I did. Remember, that's who all those uh, other companies that you wanted to know who they were? I don't remember. Okay, you want me to tell you again? Yeah. Okay. The 16th page is $495. 8th page is $850. Quarter page is $1450. I can tell you some of those companies are Empire State Fuel, Sterling Affair. Who, who are they? They are, you know, contributors to the school. They help out. They support in various different ways. Half page is twenty-five fifty. That's where you'll see Bronx Zoo, Tropic Air. Who are they? Rich, those are tremendous supporters of the school. They uh do great work with the university. They help out in various ways on campus. And then we have a full page color, which is 7,500. Of the size I mentioned, what would be best for you? The 16th, that business card, or maybe the 8th? What about the other ones? Yeah, of course. It's up to you. I mean, we'd like to see you in, whether it's the 16th page at $495, or the full page color for 7,500. What, what about the other ones that you had? Yeah, what about them? If you're interested in those, that's fine too. What works best for you, the 16th, the 8th? But what about the other ones, though? You, what about it? I mean, you could get more than one if you'd like. Rich, you with me? Yeah. So what, what could we count on you for? Would it be the 16th or would it maybe be the 8th? What about the other ones, though? I don't know. So you got to help me out here. What, what about the other ones? What do you want to know about them? Uh, you tell me. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to spell it out for you as easy as possible, sir. I, you know, I, I definitely understand all your questions. And believe me, you know, I get questions day in and day out. I try to help them out. Like I said, the 16th page has been very good size at $495, and then there's the full page color for $7,500. Well, what about the other ones, though? Sir, the other ones are great sizes as well. You know, every size that we offer is a great size. I just want to know what's good for you. So can we count on you for the 16th page, or would maybe be the 8th? Well, what about the other ones, though? Rich, like I said, whatever you want to do, if you want the other ones, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Would it be the quarter or maybe the half? Well, what about the other ones, though? Rich, I, I told you about the other ones about, uh, you know, five times now. Five times? Maybe six. Let me know. Help me out here, sir. Sixteenth, eighth, quarter, half? Well, what about the other ones, though? The other ones, 
you know, the other ones are great as well. I don't know what else you want me to say, sir. You know, if we want to get tricky, which I'm sure, you know, you guys do great work over there, and we want to do a fifth of a page, you know, maybe we could work something out. Well, what about the other ones, though? The other ones? Which other ones, Rich? Which ones are you interested in? How about that? So let's work it like that. The ones you were just talking about. Okay, which ones are interest, Are you interested in? Would it be that 16th, the 8th? What about the other ones, so? You, what about the other ones, sir? You could get on board with those as well. Would you like to do one of each? What, sir, with all the great work that you've done, we'd like to get you on board. I'm sure you're a busy guy and we can't be going dilly-dallying back and forth. What's good for you? Would it be that 16th? Or what about the other ones? What about the other ones, sir? What do you want to know about them? What are the prices? The prices for which ones, sir? The other ones. What would work best for you? I don't know. You have to tell me. Okay, I think the quarter would work best for you at fourteen fifty. It's right in the middle. But what about the other ones, though? Well, the other ones are good. You asked what I recommend. I recommend the quarter page to you. So would it be, could I count on you for that quarter page, sir? Or what about the other ones? Well, you asked what my recommendation is. So I told you the quarter page. What about the other ones? What do you want to know? I don't know. You don't know. I, I'm just actually taken back by this conversation. You don't seem it. You well, said the same tone of voice you did in the beginning. Okay, Rich. Well, uh, I'll let you uh, let it all resonate. I could give you a call back. And being we're not getting anywhere, I think I'm going to let you get back to work. I don't have too much work today. You don't, huh? No. Okay. Slow day. Good for you. I'm busy over here. I don't have time to be dilly-dallying, so. Who's dilly-dallying? You're not explaining this stuff, and so we're not dilly-dallying. Okay, Rich. Oh, now you want to go. Maybe it's you, you know? Maybe it is. Hello? Hello, Troy? Yeah. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, my name is about an extended warranty on the Tercel. Yeah. Okay. You have about, uh, what, 65000 on it right now? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what, let me put you on hold and uh, see what kind of coverage I can get you. Okay. Hello? Hello, Troy? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry, is he around? He just went out to double check the, the mileage on the car. Oh, okay. I don't want to badmouth my roommate or anything. Yeah. But that car is in bad shape. The the engine like seized up like like a month ago and he has all kinds of transmission problems and I think he might have even stolen it. I'm not even sure. Uh sh yeah, we can't do anything with I that. think he might just be trying to, you know, get a warranty so he can get all this stuff paid for. You know, bottom line is I'm gonna hang up the phone, he's coming back in. Okay, hold on. Yep. Hello. Troy. Does my roommate keep on getting on the phone or something? I see him with the phone and then I come in. No, was he, he, was talking to you or me, something? he was just asking me about the coverage more than anything. Right, no. he wasn't saying anything? No. Uh, you got the check. VIN number, too? That's, uh, that's really kind of necessary if we can get you any coverage. All right, let me, um, hold on one second. I'll get it off my insurance yeah. card. All right. Hello, sir. This is roommate, Steve. Did, you didn't say anything, right? No, he was asking me about it, man. You know, I just uh, say... Thanks, because I'm, I'm telling you, he'll kick me right out of here. I, you know, your, your secret's safe with me. I just want to get this thing done. He's just walking back in right now. Thanks for not saying anything, man. Yeah. All right. Hello. Just Hello, it. Troy. Yeah. Well, okay. What are you on the phone for, Steve? Um, he was just asking me about the coverage. You got the VIN number yet, Troy? Yeah, but I'm, why are you talking to him, though? Well, I had to tell him, man, that the car is a piece of junk. I mean... Did he tell you that? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I asked you before. You like, no, he was just asking about the coverage, and now he was asking about the coverage. I didn't ask about the coverage. I just told you that the car was a piece of junk. I mean, when I asked you before, you said no. So I mean, you were lying to me. I wasn't lying to you. I was protecting your friend. Well, but you're still lying, though. I mean, you know. Uh, how did I lie? I'm trying to buy something off of you. It doesn't have anything to do with my friend. If I'm going to trust you, and then well, you, you know, in all fairness, uh, Troy, I'm actually doing you a favor by lying to you. If you lied about that, how do I know you're not lying about the policy? That's true. You, you do have me there, you know. I'm willing to help you out. I'm willing to get you guys the coverage. Whether this car is seized up or whether it's legitimate. It's know. seized up.
Troy, is the, is the car running or not? It's running. It's not. How am I supposed to pick out uh, which one of you guys is telling me the truth over the phone? I just I, wish you would have told me the truth. That's all I'm asking. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I want to earn your business. By, by lying to me? Dude, you're not going to kick me out, are you? If you, if you want to know my honest opinion, I think this is all bullshit. Hello? Hello, my Prosecco Danko Jones. Yeah. Hi, this is from the University of I have a few quick questions to help determine your admissibility, okay? Sure. Uh, do you have any college or university credits? Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you think you have between 1 and 47 credits or more than 48 credits? Or, what was it? 1 and 40? 1 and 47 credits or more than 48 credits? Or? Would it be more than 4? Did you earn a, uh, one, or 40, 1 through 47 or more than 48? Or? Or do you know? What? How many credits you've earned between 1 and 47 or 48? Or what? Do you, do you, have you earned between 1 and 47 credits or more than 48 credits? Or? What would you say, more than 48? Correct. Or le up at less than 48 credits. Or? Hello? Yes, I'm still here. I'm just asking yeah. for you to... No, I know. You said 1 or 40. One, one between 1 and 47 credits or more than 48 credits. Or? Sir, would you be interested in receiving information about our programs here? Yeah. Okay. Um, and did you earn between 1 and 47 credits or more than 48 credits? Or? Would it be okay? Was it one, one between, between 1 and 47 credits then, is that correct? Or? Or was it more than 48 credits? Or, uh, or more? Do you have more? Okay, I'm going to mark that down for... Or, okay? what? No, I mean, or, or less. You have less? Okay, I'm going to mark no, that down. No, it's not less. I'm just asking. Okay. Uh, again, I just need to, you to answer these few more questions. And you said less than, 40, less than 48 credits. Is that correct? Mm, or. Or more. Or. Yes or no. Oh, less or, than 48 or more than 48 credits. Or. I'm going to put zero down for you now when we get. Uh, well, it's not zero. We'll have somebody call you back in a couple hours. Why is that? You're not fully understanding the question? No, I'm understanding the question. I just want to know what my options are. Your options are 1 in 47 or more than 48. Or? Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking for uh, James? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put him on the phone. Can you tell me what this is regarding? Information about our real estate developments in Costa Rica. James, is a, he's, a, he's mute? He's mute? Yeah. Okay, then how would he hear what I'm going to say? He's not deaf, sir. It means he can't really talk. Oh! But if I stay on the phone, he could just um, answer your questions with the buttons. He'll just do like one for yes, two for no, and then, yeah. Not a problem. Not okay. A problem. Hey, James, pick up the phone. Okay. okay. Uh, what is your name, sir? Steve. Steve. Now, James, have you visited Costa Rica yet? Okay, then what is it that sparked your interest in Costa Rica at this time? I don't know what his interest is. I mean, he's going to have to tell you. Okay, I thought that he could tell you and then you tell me. He, he can't talk, though. Okay. He's just scratching his head right now. Oh, he's scratching his head right now. So I guess it means he's thinking about it. He's thinking, okay. We're now offering an opportunity to reserve a full acre and a quarter home site in our newest community, and it's called... Okay, he's got a question, Steve? Well, that's um, that's for Beep. So he, he said he didn't like the name. He didn't like the name. That I cannot change. <laughs> Is that a deal breaker, James? Yes or no? No, that's not a deal breaker. Okay. James, can you come down to Costa Rica in the next 60 to 90 days and you have a valid passport? No. Now, the process can be expedited for a small fee at your local post office. You won't get a passport. That's a deal breaker. That's not a deal breaker. Okay. Go to a local post office or passport office. Very, very simple procedure. No. He doesn't have a car. Well, don't you? You don't either. So how do you guys... No, he answered that, not me. So wouldn't you be able to drive him? No. Well, 
I, there's no other way I can tell you to get a passport then. So in other words, question? Yeah, he wanted to actually know about, you know, there's a lot of good looking women down there. First of all, I'm, I'm happily married and have been many, many years. And, well, I'm sorry, but I am. No, that means no. Two is no. Ah, uh, question. Have you been happily married, you want to know, does that mean you have a big penis? I, I, I am done right now. Hello? Uh, this is, my name is John from Securities. Okay, I got my uh, roommate, Dan, the song parody man, on the phone, too. Yeah, because we both make the decisions. Okay. You might want to get an alarm system put in, you know, and uh, what kind of prices are we talking? It's $99, okay? That's your activation. You're going to need seven more contacts, or transmitters. You might not need them on the front windows. No, we want them on all the windows. But you want them on all the windows. Yeah, it's now. a bad neighborhood, a lot of blacks. Yeah. So you're looking at around 245 with a motion detector and the $99 activation. So it runs about three, say around 350. Now, how much is it a month? It's a three-year contract, and it's going to run 33.99 a month. So we're talking like 15.50. Damn, just go with Chuck's room, see if he's got any money. Oh, you mean in the safe? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. See how much money's in there. Let's see how much we can do here. <laughs> I got car payment coming up. Can you take a few dollars off for me? <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask him when he gets back on the phone. Hello, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. No, I, I got the uh, I got the money actually. Um, he had fifteen hundred in the safe. Hopefully, he's not gonna notice it's missing. But I'll just put it back eventually. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's no problem that where we got the money from, right? Doesn't matter to me. I mean, I, I just can't take cash from you. I have to. right. No, we're not gonna give you cash. You know. I mean, we'll just launder it through the bank. You know. No one will know. Yeah, not a big, not a big deal. We'll figure that one out when I see you. Okay. okay. What's up, guys? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Oh, hey, oh. hey, Chuck. Why is my Clark safe Hill. open? Why is there, why, what is going on? Why is my money over the bed? Um, uh, uh, we're Dan. Dan. We're trying to get a... We're trying what? Why is no, we're just... Up? An alarm system. Yeah. An alarm system. Well, Sorry, this is our other roommate. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Alarm system. Why is my money on the bed? You still there? I'm still here. Okay. No, roommate came home. He's all mad. What's going on? This guy said to, to buy an alarm. So you're going to use my money. You know I've been saving up that money for a long time. Look, John said just take the money out of the safe. So the guy on the phone said it was okay for you to get into my safe yeah. and take my money. Yeah. You talked to him. You told him it was okay that they go into my safe to pay for your alarm system. No, I didn't say anything of the sort. You guys went in. That was between you two. Don't, don't put words into my mouth. I did not say no, that. No, you, you said were, it didn't matter where the money came from. I don't... I don't know what to say to you. I mean... Yeah. Sir, yeah. Just, admit, just admit to him that you told us to take the money. You know, I didn't tell you to do it. You, you said you wanted a car payment out of it. Yeah. I was kidding about that. You guys were going back and forth to the safe but with money. I just was kidding around saying, you know, oh, well, let's, let's get some more money spent. Yeah, but it didn't sound like you were kidding. Yeah. I didn't tell you to take anything out of the safe. I didn't say yeah, you did. That. Yeah, can you t t talk to my roommate and tell him? What do you mean, let me tell him? I did not tell you guys to go into a safe, so don't don't put words into my mouth, okay? I'm not, look, I don't want to talk to you guys anymore, okay? Well, look. You, you Call another company, they'll take care of your lounge system for you. Hello? Hi, this is with Deck Group, how are you? My uh, roommate, Eddie Trunk, he's on the line too. Hello? Eddie? Yeah. I'm looking to help you and James out with your debt. Great. Yeah, um, about how much debt would you say you have, Eddie? Well, James has 25000 Okay. Then I have ten. You have 10000 No. Ten, ten what? Ten dollars. I borrowed it from my neighbor and it's been like two weeks and he wants it back. Ten dollars in debt that you borrowed from your neighbor? Yeah, well, I figured if you're going to give James twenty-five thousand, you could handle ten. We have an eight thousand dollar minimum for the program. We're going to put you, we'll put James in the program, we'll help him out with his debt. If it's twenty-five thousand, he's going to save about eleven thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. How much would I save on the ten? I can't help you with ten dollars. Yeah, I know, but, I, you know, just for me to be in the program, I want my buddy in, too, so... Well, I don't know what the big problem is. I can't do $10. How could you not do 10 if you could do 25000 Why don't you understand that there's a minimum of 8000 Well, why don't you understand that I can't leave the house? I've got to keep ditching my neighbor every time I leave. But I, I can't help you with that. I mean, I, go, I used to go every Sunday and watch football over there. I can't even do that this weekend. $8,000 minimum. I understand that, but... Um, I'm coming in with... I can't do $10 then. How about James? 
gives you the ten dollars to pay back your neighbor. He's gonna save eleven thousand. I'm sure he'll give his friend ten dollars. That's between him and the neighbor. You know. I'm yeah, you hoping... said mixed friendship and money. It's... Yeah. So I'm just hoping, since you guys are gonna help me with mine, that you can help Eddie too at the same time. Can't you call my neighbor and just negotiate down to yeah. fit like two or three dollars? I can't do that for you. Right. Why? be one phone call. Why don't you understand that I can't do ten dollars? And why don't you understand that he's he's gonna kick my ass the next time he sees me? I understand that, and I am sorry if he kicks your ass, but there's nothing I can do about it. You're not gonna help James over ten dollars? But do the math, okay? Anything over eight thousand, I can do. But I didn't borrow eight thousand from him. I borrowed ten. You're coming off really retarded right now. Well, now you're coming off retarded because you're going to make a big commission on it. You could you could just give me the $10 out of your wallet. You want me to give you $10 out of my purse? Yeah. That would probably be easier. Oh, well, you could take $10 from me. You can't take $10, $10 from your buddy? It'd be better if we kept... I don't think I can help you guys, okay? I'm, I'm going to go take another call of someone who does qualify. What okay? do you do? I qualify. You. Why are you going to help somebody else? We need help. I can't help you. Thank you. I don't need to stress the, the tension between... Your ass kicked. And uh, enjoy your day. Hello? Yes, hi. This is How about the cleaning? My roommate, Bob Levy's on the phone. He's, uh... We, we both need the maid service, yeah. Well, so what do you guys do there? Everything. Except carpet cleaning. Whatever it needs to be done, it be done. Okay, and how quick would you want it to be done? Pretty much right away. I have an appointment at the doctor at 2 o'clock, so it's kind of too late for the day. What, are you getting your warts removed? Excuse me? No, you said you what? You have a doctor's? Appointment. Oh, 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 I thought you said you were, oh. We got a couple of pets, too. Oh, okay. A couple of dogs and a cat, so. Woo, there's a lot of dog hair, huh? They don't really shed the dogs, but more of like, you know, dog crap that needs to be picked up. Really? It's like, a, you know, avoiding a landmine. Oh, God. My first cleaning would be 100. Yeah, but could, we just want to make sure you can pick up all the piles. How about I come by and look? Okay, yeah, I mean, that's you. fine, but for the $100, you pick up all the turds? I'm cleaning, but I'm not cleaning no animal feces and stuff like that. I'm cleaning your house. It's all over the place, though. I think I'm going to bypass this one. Right, well, they're all in neat piles. And they've been there for a while? Like, probably about three weeks, would you say? Yeah. This is very not sanitary to live there with dog feces and poop. But how much per pile do you think you would charge? <laughs> Sir, it smells in your house, ain't it? Yeah but, we're, yeah, but we're used to it, you know, because we're here all the time. How People can come a person here. get used to it? Oh, my God. Okay, no. You said you would come by at least check it out. <clears throat> you know, at least yes. come by and check it out. I mean, do you have good balance? Because, yes. you know, we have we have trails where you walk through, you don't, you know, step in the pool, but you have to pretty, have pretty good balance. Because if you lean <laughs> one way, you might fall into, fall into a pile. I don't know how any human being would live... In a house with traces of poops everywhere. I don't, I don't understand that. You know, look, that's what animals do. They poop, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a natural thing they do. Not clean up your dog poop. No, this is not my job. If you want to start working that day, probably it'd be easier if you bring a shovel, if you don't want to actually touch it. I don't want to touch nobody's poop. It's not like it's ours. I cannot do anything. What about the cat poop, though? Because we don't have a kitty litter. I need money, but I don't need it that bad, no, okay? But, I'm not trying to clean up no cat and dog poop. Well, what if we threw another 50 in and make it 150? No. I mean, that's like a dollar a pile. you got piles and piles of poop all around your house, and you want me to come and clean it? The, the stink isn't really that bad. I mean, we could spray some Febreze or something before you come over. No. If you bend down to pick it up, I can hold your nose if it's really bad. No, 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 no. You know, they're little piles. They're neatly stacked, like I was saying. They're like little pyramids. Feces and poop, I do not do. We really need somebody, because there's a lot of flies in here now, too. Yeah. I look like a kid from Somalia that buzzing around my head. Can you bring a fly swatter? No, I'm not coming clean no poop. What about the flies, though? It's okay, keep them. No, I mean, and, could you... And your dog. I'm not coming, sir. No, 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 no. This person is not coming your way. Cleaning no dog poop or anything in that matter. What about cat? Right, bye, oh, sir. We got a bird, too. Hello? Hi, Jason? Yeah. My name is Matt. I was calling you from a university online, Jason. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, Jason, what is your highest level of education currently? 
two years of college. Did you get your associate's degree, Jason? Yeah. A degree or AS degree, Jason? Hello? Yeah. Hello. Oh, dude, you, you, uh, you still on the phone? Yeah. I need help with a crossword real quick. Could you just... Sorry, Matt, it's my roommate. Yeah, no, I understand. What is it real it's quick? It's just a four-letter word for someone who sells you stuff on the phone. It begins with an S. Not spam? That's email. Stupid. Any idea, Matt? I don't know. Yeah, it starts with an S? Yeah, four, four? letters, yeah. Scam? S C A M. Is that what it is? It could be that. No, not. It, it's not all the time, though. Oh. Okay. But does it say that not all the time? No. The puzzle. I think that works, though. That fits. Sorry to bother you guys. That one's a tough one. Um. Is that what that is? Is someone I, trying to say something on the phone? I guess. I have no idea. Yeah. You said your degree of interest, Jason, was a bachelor's in information technology. Is that correct? Guys, one more thing. Mm-hmm. I'm I almost go, done with the Then I gotta go to work. Uh, that's it. This is the last one. Um, okay, four letter word, common homosexual name for a male. Begins with an M. You have any idea? Uh, no, I don't. Mike, Mark. Those are, no, those sound like, those aren't like homo names. Any idea, Matt? No, I don't. Matt! I don't think that's it. No, it fits. No. Yeah, it's Matt. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> I got a brother named Matt, and, you know, he's not gay. Yeah. Uh, That's a little I mean, weird. It is. You know what I mean? I got my roommate calling you homosexual. You no, know, you didn't call for that. Have you ever attended classes online before? Guys, one more thing. Uh, Twelve-letter word for uh, a, hor a horrible education. Begins with O. I couldn't tell you. There's a C in the middle. What does it end with, real quick? E. Twelve-letter word. <sighs> Right. What is it, a bad education, you said? Horrible education. Oh. You, well, you work in education, right? I do, yeah. So what would that be, then? I couldn't tell you that one. I don't know. I don't feel like you're trying now. No, Steve, Steve I am trying. I just one. I couldn't tell you. Online school? Online college? Yeah. That's it. It fits. It fits. That's super. Where'd you get this crossword puzzle from, Steve? The record. The record. It is an online school. But it's not a horrible education, what, what the crossword puzzle says. Well, but that's weird that there's being a crossword puzzle. Yeah, it is weird. Hey, is, it an, is it a horrible education? That's what I'm, now I'm starting to think. You know, I don't want to invest money in something that... It's a great education, actually. I, I know, but I mean, the crossword puzzles, you know, they usually, you know, there's some truth to the answers. I don't know about that. You don't think so? I mean, how do people no. get them if they're not truthful, if, you know? Uh, I don't know. I so what you're saying is Matt's not a homosexual type of name. Well, once I do this, Jason, let me send it out to you. Take a look at it. How about if I call you back tomorrow? Tell are, you, are you gay, Matt? Not that I care. Well, I don't think that's a viable a action, you know, question to ask me over the phone, no. Uh, do you want to meet then? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it's going to be an option. I got a word search. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnson? Yeah. Okay, I see you show some interest in our free alarm system. Yeah, I have my uh, roommate. Uh, he's listening in to Troy Patrick Farrell. Is that all right? Okay, that's Cause, no problem. Yeah, because he's, you know, going to have okay. to split the cost. Now, were y'all looking to cover the windows and doors, or you just want to do doors with the motion? What kind of alarm is it, though? A burglar alarm, sir. No, I know that. going to cover the whole window, though. The contact on the windows is only for open and raising. It's not for breaking. I would suggest the motion sensor being on the inside of the home. I mean, it picks up body heat as well as body movement, so that way, in case of anyone do get in, the motion is going to catch them anyway. But what if, like, one of us comes home late at night and the, we set the alarm off? Okay, well, you have enough time to come in and punch in a four-digit code to disarm the system. Well, why wouldn't, wouldn't a, a burglar have that time, too? How would a burglar know your code? Well, because we'd probably put it right over the code thing, you know, what the number was in case no. you forgot it. No. I mean, that's, that's, letting a, that's telling a burglar, well, come on in, here's my code. Well, they wouldn't see it from the outside. I never know that anybody putting a code on the inside of the home. I mean, well, yeah, like my, I write my password to my computer and I put it right next to the computer. Most people keep their code in their head. I put you hide the code somewhere where can't nobody find it. Well, where would we put it then? I mean, I would suggest that maybe my brother hide his up under his rug. <laughs> you know. We don't even have any rugs, though. Okay, well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, sir. You couldn't keep a four-digit code in your head. Yeah, I got so many different codes and PIN numbers from ATM machines and everything else. I don't want to get confused. And if I get in my house before the cops come and alarms go off, I need to know what the number is. Yeah. You can think of a place to put it to where you feel like they can't nobody find it. Yeah, but then the, the, the alarm will go off while we're trying to look for it. 
Well, I mean... Because what know, if we forget where the place we put it when we came in? Wherever y'all decide to put the code at to where you can't re- where you can't forget where it's at, then that's that's fine. You know, but it, it, it is going to require a four-digit code to get in and a four-digit code to get out. That's, that makes it more confusing if it's separate codes. You know, well, I mean, if it's separate codes, then we'd have to hide, hide two different codes. Well, why don't you just keep the in your wallet. What if someone steals our wallet? You can do it however you want to do the codes, that's y'all. But I have my code program in my head. How long before we come in, before the alarm goes off, do we have? Most homeowners program there for 25 to 30 seconds. You know, we're, we're neat freaks, so we take our shoes off and stuff before we walk on the floor. I don't think we could do all that in 25 seconds and then get to the code. I mean, if you feel like it's going to take you 45 seconds to take off your shoes and, you know. Yeah, mine's got a lot of laces, they're boots. Oh, okay. Where does the motion sensors, like, hit in the apartment? Like, could we crawl underneath? No, you couldn't. Like, if we crawled crawled on our belly? Even if you crawled on your belly, it's going to pick up body heat as well as body movement. What if it's, what if it's cold out? If it's cold? No, it's, it's not going to pick up, like, cold or anything like that. Oh, so then we can get in without the sensor going off. It's cold out, so there won't be any body heat. Look, I'm going to send you all an email. Why? And I'll let y'all figure all of that out. Okay? No, I mean, we're, no, I'm we're trying to figure it out right now. Okay, I wanna, well, uh, I'm going to send you an email. Is he going to say anything about where to put the code? Hello? I'm calling from <laughs> Lending about the home equity conversion mortgages. My friend Dan is on the phone, too. Yeah, oh, that, well, yeah we, uh, we have the, the thing together, so... All right, so let me, let me just take it from the top. Sometimes customers have done a lot of research, and other times they don't, so... What I'm trying to do is not um, go over information that you already may know. But I'm not, not that that big of a rush, you know. That if, you know, if you went over and I knew it, it wouldn't be. Yeah, but I got I kind of got to get out of here, so it'd be better if you just skipped over a lot of the information because I did the research. Okay. I didn't get a chance to. I was, you know, I was going to do it last night, but I just went to whack in my bag for a few hours. Okay. Should I just go from the top? Uh, I don't know. I mean, well, you know what? Just stop them. If you heard the information, just stop them. Now. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the best way to do it. So the way that the the way that the loan works is that your age determines what percentage of the value of the home can be borrowed. Stop. And it's based stop, on the stop. Uh, I heard that. Yeah. Okay. So do you know how much you can borrow? I didn't hear the original part, but he already heard it. So how am I gonna hear it without Dan hearing it again? Well, there may just be some stuff that he hears again. He doesn't want to hear it again. That's the problem. Well, I so, got to pick up a prescription. I got to see how it's prescription laden. So, okay. So the line of credit is actually the most requested product because sir. unlike any other type of line of... Yes, sir? Yeah, I, I heard that one. But I don't know this part. But I already heard it. Can you say it again? Yeah, but that's... Sure. I don't want to... I, I already know it. Somebody's got to give me my marching orders because now I, I don't know what to say from what not to say. We don't know what's going to come out of your mouth, so I don't, I, I don't know how we can give so, you orders. But one knows something that the other doesn't, and the other knows something that one doesn't, and so I'm trying to give both of you information at the same time and being respectful to the one that does know so they don't have to hear it again, but I still have to educate the one that hasn't heard what I've said, so I'm kind of in a pickle. Which Which one are you trying to give the information to? Well, my understanding was that Dan did some reading and Vinny didn't, so Dan understood more, understands more than Vinny does, so naturally my inclination would be to get Vinny up to speed, but apparently there's some things that Vinny knows that maybe Dan doesn't know, and so that's what I'm trying to decipher. If you can give us information that neither of us know, then it would, it would work. It would work, except that I don't know what you both know. Okay, so here, let me ask a question. How do you want the money that you're eligible to have? Stop. I knew you were going to ask that. It was that. a question. Yeah, but I knew it wasn't okay. on the website, but I knew you were going to ask that, so. So then what's the answer? Well, well I, I need to hear it. it. Yeah, I know you do. But I don't I'm know just, what the options are. Right, but I am just saying I knew you were going to you were going to say that, so that's why I stopped you. So why did you stop me if you knew I was going to say it? Because uh, I didn't know when you were going to say it. So, but I asked a question, and you're telling me that you knew I was going to ask the question, and you, and then you, you're withholding the answer, and the answer is going to help me help you. I didn't know you were going to ask that question. I did, though. Okay, so... But I saw, I, I saw so that kind of question kind of, coming a mile away, though. But everybody you talk to about a reverse mortgage is going to ask you that same question. No, well, well just, Dan didn't know you were going to ask that. Dan, did you know he was going to ask that question? No. See, there's one person right there. I mean, I knew it. But he didn't. Okay. All right. So, so you can't so, so say everybody. Can I, 
So Vinny, can I can I talk to Dan for just a second? Since he didn't know that I was going to ask that question. Well, what do you want me to do? I just want you to sit tight for a second and let me let me give him this information. But I'm going to hear it again. Though. I know you're okay. Well, would it be easier for for Dan if he for Vinny if you just put the phone down for a second and then Dan you can tell him when the, when I finish talking so he can pick the phone back up. I'd rather not do that. I mean, you know, it's my house. I don't want to feel like I have to put the phone down. Okay. Is there any way you can whisper it to him? Okay, so when you get money... That's, that's I can more I could still kind of hear it a little. Um, so when you get money with a reverse mortgage, you have three choices. You can get it as a line of credit. You what? can get it as a lump sum. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you speak up? If I speak up louder, then... I, see, I, I can, can hear you me. now. No, I can hear you now. I couldn't hear you before. So, Vinny, can you hear me? Dan, can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay. So when you get money with a reverse mortgage, Dan, you can get it in one of three ways. I, I can hear you. I can hear now. I can hear some mumbling like blah, 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 like that. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> Hello? Hello, is this James? Yeah. Hello, James. This is with <laughs> that relief. Okay, my friend Don is on the phone. Yeah, yeah no, I just, I'm going to just help him out if he needs any, has any questions or whatever. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. What state are you in right now? What does it matter? Uh, in certain states, we can't work in. Oh, which, which states are those? Those would be uh, Connecticut and West Virginia. My uh, friend is in West Virginia now, but I'm not. Okay, well, it just uh, depends with uh, your physical address, where you live. As long as you're not in any of those states right now. So I am going through Connecticut, so I actually technically are in that state. Should he, should he turn around and drive back into New Jersey, or? I just saw a welcome to Rhode Island sign. I could go there. No, no, no. It, it doesn't. It, it's where you live. You no, double no. back. Should he double back, or do you think he should go into Rhode Island? We can resolve your debt as long as your physical address, where you live, like where you get mail, is not in any of those states. So it just depends on where the, where your mailbox is. Yes. So then uh, maybe what is, I could do is if I could get a new mailbox and put it in Pennsylvania, then I could get it covered. I'm sorry, it has to be where you live. Yeah, but you said that it's where the mailbox is, so if he moved the mailbox just over the state line to Pennsylvania, then he should be fine. I meant your physical address. Uh, it doesn't sound like I can assist you because you are, uh, it sounds like you guys are in the states that we cannot reach. I'm just driving through Connecticut. I don't live there, but I, if you want, I'll turn around and go back to Rhode Island. It's only like two, three miles. Do you have coverage in Rhode Island? Yes, we do have coverage. Okay, so let me hold on. But we, around. Yeah, go to Rhode Island. No, 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 sir. Well, I'm, I, well, because you said Connecticut doesn't have coverage, so that's why I'm turning around and going to Rhode Island. Uh, I just pulled over in a rest area. Welcome to Rhode Island. Okay, I'm actually. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna send you to a manager because they can they can help you out. Why? Uh, yeah. Yes, this is Mr. James Johnson. Yeah. Okay, and where's your physical location? Well, I live in West Virginia, so... So you live in West Virginia? We cannot help you. No, I don't live in West Virginia. That's my friend Don. Well, he's going to put his mailbox in Pennsylvania, so then he gets... That's not how it works. I'm, I'm the manager here, which is why he transferred you over to me. You cannot just place a mailbox anywhere and call that your physical address. Well, that's what he that's said. Correct. He said it's wherever your mailbox is. Yeah. Okay, well, that was wrong information. I'm already at the Home Depot getting him a mailbox. Okay, well, I hope that works out for you. Is there anything else I can help you with today? I'm driving through Connecticut, but I don't live in Connecticut, so I want, I want. I know Connecticut doesn't have coverage, but I'm hoping I can get coverage. Just because you're physically in Connecticut, that does not mean that's where your physical address is. Sir, but they said Rhode Island, you guys got coverage. I'm in Rhode Island now. I'm at the Welcome Center right over there. You have to have a physical address, a mailing address, pay state tax in that same state. But he hasn't filed in two years. So you receive a cable bill or you receive any type of mailing? And he doesn't have cable. Okay, well then we can't help then. No, I mean, Why, I, we, I, we can't get the coverage if we don't have cable TV? I'll get cable if you have, if you have, I need if to, have the coverage. I need, to have a, I need to have some proof of address. I need a I have Netflix. statement. Does that I need help? a statement. I need a... Um, I have iTunes. Taxes, tax W-2. I, have, um, I need a, anything showing... The physical address. Well, I can write on a piece of paper. Yeah, I'll, s I'll send you an email. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I just drove out of Rhode Island. I'm back in Connecticut. Is that going to be a problem? Hello? Yes, yeah, assume me, please. Yeah. Hi, this is about your timeshare. Okay. Good. What's the name of your resort? Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah, what's the name of your resort? 
My resort? My resort? Uh, whoever Susumi is. Yeah. Would that be you, sir? Uh, who, me? Or me? I don't know. Who's Susumi? Oh, uh, I am. What's the name of the resort or vacation club that you want to sell? Well, my other, my roommate has a resort, too, that he's trying to sell. Who, oh, mine or? Mine or his. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you want to both sell, I mean, I can do a market analysis on both. Uh, well, what if just I do and he doesn't? It doesn't matter. Right. Which one, though? Somebody put mule juice. I don't know what that means. Right. That's my company. I don't know what the name of the resort is. Right, okay. Well, which resort that somebody wants to sell? Well, well both, both do, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's the first resort? Which one? I don't know, you guys. You, 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 you just know. said the name, though. Is that the name of it, Mule Juice? Yeah. No, not mine. But his. Okay. So which one are you looking at? I'm just looking at the, I mean, the one that says Mule Juice. Right. Let's start off the first one. Well, that's not mine, no, but that's his. But you said Suzumi. Well, whoever, whoever, whoever's name is... Well, that's him, though. Yeah, that's me, Suzumi, yeah. I'm responding to the name that's on here. And then under resort, it says Mule Juice. Which one, though? Which one do you want me to start with? Or whatever Which you want to start with. Okay, what's the other resort that's in question? Which one? Other than the one... Other than what one? The one that I mentioned. Which one? The one that says Mule Juice. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, that's, that's his. Okay, and what's the other one? That's my roommate's. And what's the name of the resort? Suzumi? Mine is it's Mule Juice. And what's the other one? Which one? For Suzumi's resort or, or, or my roommate's? Either one. What's the name? There's well, mine is Mule Juice. And yeah. What's the other one? The other one's my roommate's. And what's the name of that one? Are you talking about my resort or Suzumi's? I'm just screwing around. I mean, I don't have time for this. I'm not screwing around. I'm just trying to... You're you confusing us. Yeah, it's a waste of my time. Thank you. Hello? Hi, this is calling from the Institute of New York City. Can I speak with Joe, please? Yeah, this is him. Hi, Joe. How are you doing today? Bad. Oh, no. What happened? Um, my spats are calling but I it up. I'm sorry to hear that. It happens, you know. Yeah, that's so tough to deal with. One of my friends had to really deal with that, too. A girl or a guy? A girl. Was she shooting her pants a lot and stuff? Well, that's kind of out there, but... That was, so, she was, that was out with her, too, yeah, because I was just in church the other day, and it happened. Yeah. Walking okay. up to receive communion, and it just started running down my leg. It's embarrassing. I could imagine. Yeah, I mean... I was calling about our schooling program. At the college, there's a lot of bathrooms, just in case I have an accident, I feel an urge coming on. Yes. I mean, I usually wear a Depends diaper, so... But sometimes, you know... That only takes like two loads and then it starts dripping. Okay. We also have disability services, and so with medical notes, you'll be able to discuss that with our dean of students. There's what accommodations you would be needing. Oh, really? Yes. Would they so be able, like, I don't know, I'm just throwing this out that maybe, like, instead of a seat in the class, maybe they just have, like, a toilet in the back I could sit on? That would make it easier for everyone, I think. I might be all holding a couple of them a day, but I don't know about all of them. So I just need to know maybe if you got some kind of a, I don't know, maybe a portage on in the back of the room or something I could just run to, or like I said, even a toilet in the back okay. that I could sit on. No. What about in the front? No. Tell me about your interests. I like um, baseball, barbecuing, you know, um, masturbating, surfing. pretty much it. I'm going to transfer you over to one of my colleagues. That Why? I think you give me great service. I don't need to Yeah, but this conversation is making me a little bit uncomfortable. What, did I shit a lot, or? The other comment that you just made. What, just because so, I surf? So, with that being said, I'm going to make sure somebody else follows up with you. Like, you're offended because I like barbecuing? Hello? Hi, sir. I'm pleased to be with Jamie Jackson. Yeah, yeah, this is him. And this is our um, institute. We're at IT school. Okay. Yeah, my friend Richard Christie, my roommate, he's going to listen in too because he wants to go back to college. 
Yeah, hi, uh, this is Richard. I I'd also like to listen in. Okay, well, that's also no problem. Uh, basically, you need to be trained to get your certifications in information technology. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, I wasn't for sure what, where you wanted me to go from here. Whatever you're comfortable with, I will talk about. Okay. Um, what are you wearing? Well, excuse me, sir, we have to leave this to the program. I know, but you just said whatever you're comfortable talking about. Of course I'm talking about, you know, the IT. No, I know. When you, when you said oh, I'm comfortable talking about whatever, I thought, okay, then maybe that's an open invitation. Oh, a little humor? Oh, okay. No, I wasn't. I was being serious. Okay, well, I, I, I'm serious about... Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. In the program. Okay. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, if you want to learn. So basically, as I explained, we're talking about program now. Certain campuses that... Uh, I'm wearing sweats. I don't have a shirt on. It can be a nine-month program. Um, the classes that I'm not wearing have, underwear. So do you want me to not, excuse me, if you have no interest in what I'm saying, that I don't want to waste your time and I don't want you guys to waste my time. No, we're know. interested. Okay, I'm just saying you guys are, you know, talking about what you're wearing and professionally, I can't engage into that conversation. But do you have to be professional? Yes, I do, because I'm at work. So What's your home number? We can on with the program and if you're not going to cooperate with me then I won't continue. No, we're trying to. We're, we're, we're interested. Because um, you two are going off topic and it's wasting my time. Maybe. You got to cut us a break. You know, we're not used to this. You're, you you got a script in front and you're pretty much used to it. We're not, so. All right. So if you are still interested in IT, what we do here is we have an internet with internet. You ever wear a G-string? Hello? Hi, may I speak to Johan Higgs? Yeah. Calling on behalf of uh, the auto insurance specialist. I do have a license agent standing by with that free quote to try to save you some money. Is that okay if I do that? Um, can I think about it for a second? Yeah. You want to try you back some other time? No, no, no. I just want to think about it for a second. Okay. Yes. Want me to go ahead and send you over and they give you that free quote? I'm not done thinking about it yet. Can All right. Me, can you give me a second? Yeah, sure. Send you over? Still thinking. Well, it takes a few minutes. To think about it? It takes a few minutes for me to send you over and they give you that free quote. Right. Want me to go ahead and send you over? Or? Can I still think about it? Sure. Okay. thinking about it? Yeah, I'm done thinking about it. So you want me to send you over and I'll give you that free quote? No. Okay. Hello? Hi, is Jim in? Yeah. This is Italy from State University. Hello? Well, I was just calling you back and to uh, go over the program, answer any questions you might have. Okay. Is it up my roommate listens in? What was that? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, because he's interested in going back to school, too. Yeah. Yeah, is that cool? <clears throat> okay, great. All right. Well, like, who's the first person, like, the, um, the deeper voice? Because I can hear you perfectly. It's me. I, I am. It, I am. It's okay, cause you me. Me. I, it's me. Yeah, it's I am. I cannot hear Which you. one? No, it's I. It's, I did. Who? Right. Who can't you hear? The other guy. Yeah, what? Me? You. Right. Me? The first one. Which one? I am. You, you I can't hear. Cause you you can't hear me? Me? Ah, I'll, I'll call back. Why? Why? Who can you hear? The one with a deeper voice, I can hear perfectly. 
Me? Me? No, the other... Oh, jeez. I, I don't know how best to do this. Like, the roommate. I guess you the one who was... The roommate that was going to listen on. Me? Okay, can I just talk to maybe just one of you at a time, and then... Well, which one? You... Who, Me? Who, Me? The one who just said which one, I can't hear what you're saying. Like, I, I get these bits and pieces of what you're saying. Which, wait, which, which one? Me? Yes. What's your name? Me? Me? Okay, there's a James, and what's the other one's name? Which, oh, me? which one? Who's James? One's James. Who's James? Me. Okay, and what's the friend's name? Which one? Oh, me? James' friend. Me? We? Miss, which this one? This is very confusing. Because there's a James, and who is James' friend? Which Who's one? me? How many friends are there? Who, me? Or me? You. Which one? Me? I'm going to have to call back later. Cause this is no, this is fine. How many speakers are there on the phone? Are there two people on the other on your end? Who, me? me? Yes, how many are, how many, how many me's are there? Me? me? There's two of you. Yeah, which one? Well, either one. What are your names? First which one? one? Both of your names. Oh, me? I'm going to call back. Why? No, no, this is fine. Why do you which have to call one? back? Because there's too many voices. All right, so what information do you need? Well, then. Your uh, street address. My address? My address? My address? address? <laughs> Hello? Hello, James? Yeah. Hi, my name is I'm calling from University. I'm Hello? Oh, my roommate, uh, Steve's on the phone. Can he listen in? Because he's thinking about going back to school, too. You know what? It would probably be easier if I did them um, separately. I mean, he can totally listen in. I mean, like... Yeah, I know, but what if the guy doesn't... I'm sorry? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Have you heard... He said he was gonna... But how many credits... We'll just wave and say goodbye, then. Okay, I'm kind of confused because I'm hearing two people. Oh, he was just asking a question. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what was your question? Yeah, you know, how can I do it if, you know, how can you do what? The thing. The thing. What's, I don't understand the thing. Don't bring the car to the guy then. Bring it somewhere else. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Who's talking to me? I, I don't understand what's going on. Can I just... Did he answer it for you? Can I just talk to one person? Can just one person be on the phone? I can't, I don't know. But we're both trying to get the information, I mean... Yeah, I'll speak with you... After I, I speak with... Well, we both like to get the information, actually. Yeah, I'll send you... I just... I, I, I can't... I don't... What? Uh, let me talk to one person. I have someone yelling in my ear. I didn't know. Like, I, I, he said if I didn't remember to come, then... You're getting driven insane here. I can't answer... I'm not supposed to answer it, you know. All the information is going to be sent out via email. No, I know, but we're just answering questions to make sure we're interested, too. I know. I... I, I, well, I well, what if I don't have to... I need to ask... What if he doesn't have it, though? What if he doesn't have... What are, what are you looking for? But what if the other guy didn't, uh... There's other Who's courses... the other guy? I don't There's know who you're speaking of. What's that? Who's the other guy? The only problem is... The only problem is what? I don't know. I, I, I can't do this. Do what? Hello? Hello, this is... And I'm simply calling today to confirm your $3,000 credit line and to activate your membership. I simply need to confirm that you're at least 18 years of age. So if I'm, not, uh, if I'm 19, I can't get it? At least 18 years of age. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, and do you still have a valid checking or savings account in your name? Yeah. Okay, and is your total monthly household income over $1,500? Just counting everybody in your house. I could check. Everybody's income together. Is it at least $1,500? I, I could check, I mean... So, you, do you think it is? I mean... I, I could check. Okay, can you check? Um, now? Um, no, um, do you think it is at least... I could check. Okay. Do you, I mean, do you think it is? I mean... I could check. Do you have a full-time job? Why are you asking me all these questions? So, do you think it is? I could check. Okay, can you check? Now? Yes. Are you checking? When? Now. Right now? Okay. How much do you bring home a month? Depends. Okay, this month. It's not over yet. 
Okay, last minute. I could check. Can you check? Now? Now? Now, this entry, sometime this year. You don't have to get nasty. Who lives in your house? It's a bunch of people. Okay. Is it your dad? No. Your mom? No. Your aunt? No. Your brother? No. Uh, your aunt, your sister? You said your aunt already. Okay, your friend? No. You live by yourself? No. So who lives with you? It's a bunch of people. Okay, can you ask a bunch of people about how much they make? I could check. Okay, can you check now? Right now? Do you, do you make $1,500 or more? I could check. Can you check? Right now? Yes. This is frustrating, miss. I'm waiting on you to check. But there's other people living in the house. Okay. Are they there? I could check. Can you check? Right now? Yes. I don't know why you're making this difficult. I'm not making it difficult. You are. It's only three short questions. It only takes a yes or a no. What's the question? Are you, are you over 18? Yeah. Do you still have a valid checking account? Yeah, I told you that before. Okay, and is your total monthly household income over $1,500? I could check. Hello? Hi, Brian. Yeah. I'm a underwriter for extended coverage on vehicles. Hello? Hello? Uh, this is his attorney, Danko Jones. I just uh, we need to be on the phone with him. He's just had some legal problems. Recently, I, I'm sure everything will be okay. I just want to make sure he doesn't say yeah. it's going to get him in any trouble. <laughs> okay. no, no problem here. Are you taking ownership of the vehicle? Is it a lease vehicle? Do you, are you looking to purchase the vehicle? Wait, wait, that's, that's, two, that's a lot of different so questions. So you just ask one, one at a time, so yeah. I know which one's the answer because I don't want to get in okay. trouble. You're confusing my question. client here. Yeah. Okay. Is it your vehicle? Is it? Can I answer that if it's my vehicle? Is it his vehicle in what sense? Are you the driver of the vehicle? I wouldn't answer that. I mean, he, I don't want it to him to distinguish okay. if he's okay. the driver. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to talk to someone that has no control of making a decision. No, there's a, a few there's, there's a few different drivers. Okay. Okay. I'm not the only one who drives the car. Well, let's, uh, let's no. no. Okay. I, I want to strike that from the record. Sometimes i got to let my mom drive. No, 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 no. But That's oh, Hold on. I need a sidebar of my client. You, you cannot... Yeah, All right. Kind I, of just, information. I want to get the insurance. Okay. All right, let's get this. You know what? Listen, guys, you, you want to actually spend time to have a conversation looking for coverage or not? Yes. Well, I wouldn't answer that question. Okay. I'm not going to get on. I'm not going to be on the phone with you guys. It's, it's going to be like every question I ask is going to take five minutes to answer. Right, but my clients had a lot of trouble in the past with this kind of thing, and I'm just making sure he's okay. protected. There's no commitment to this until you say let's well, commit, and then we'll go over it again with verification. You can waste time with them. I don't have this time. Are you looking for a quote or are you looking to get covered? Oh, don't answer that. Don't, don't answer that. No. Okay. I'd like to. Then, then don't. Please, please call someone else. Talk to them. No. Guys, no. this is. If it's this difficult trying to get answers, what, why is this so difficult? I don't feel comfortable with you answering that question. You don't feel comfortable answering any questions. I got my attorney here who's advising me not to answer certain questions. Good. Great. Fine. Your, your attorney's getting in the way of me actually doing my job, though. So oh, I would like I'm trying to do my time. job because, uh, you know, uh, it's called... You're, you're not, he's not doing anything illegal right now. He's not in trouble on anything by answering the question of how many years do you want coverage for. I don't know what kind of serious trouble you're in, but this is just a simple quotation on a vehicle. I'm in serious trouble, sir. I want that stricken from the record. Okay. I don't, I don't really care. I really don't care. This is not about you. It's about your car. Uh, is, is there any way you could just reword that question so I can answer it with how many years? I, really... I, I How should I reword the question? I don't, I don't. I will answer it how you asked me to ask you. What would what would move us forward here? Um, maybe if you say how how many years would you like, sir? Okay, how many years would you like, sir? I would advise against answering that. that. How, how, All right, strike. Mr. Attorney, how long would you think that he he should have this car for? Who who is that directed to? I can't ask you a question. Someone ask your attorney the question. Yeah, but it's my car. Well, I wouldn't say that. Let's strike that from the record. I, hypothetically, it's my car. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right. Allegedly. 
if you could fax the contract over to uh, some the other attorneys in my office. I don't have a contract to submit to you yet because I can't even get past the third question. Sir, it seems like you're rushing us off the phone. We're just trying to get the information. Well, because well, you're... you're this is the, this, the, I spent over 12 minutes on the phone with you, and I haven't even gotten through how many miles are on the vehicle. You give me a range, and I don't even know how long you want to keep it for. How do I even know that you want to do this? And what's the question? The question is how long would you like the coverage for? Uh, I, I, I can't have my client answer that. I can't answer that. Well, either. I can't help you then. Hello? Hi, Mr. Jones? Yes. Um, I understand you were talking with Kim about the reverse mortgage? Yes. What is your date of birth? Well, I'm 62. It's just your birthday. Are you, you not so comfortable giving me your birthday? No, I mean, I gave you the age. I don't know how it's going to make a difference on the price, whether what what day or month it is. It makes a difference on uh, how much money you'd be eligible for. Sir, hi. My name is Michael. I'm the manager here. How are you doing? Sir? Yeah. I was just walking by and I overheard the... the yeah, how, could you hear, how could you hear walking by? Because I sit right next to her. Well, I heard oh, you giving her some advice in the background, so you weren't just walking yeah. by and heard this. Oh, okay, you, you caught me. I, I understand you might be hesitant to give someone your birthday. Yeah, I told them six times. I told you guys I'm 62. Yeah, so when's your birthday? What month were you born in? Doesn't make a difference. I've worked with mortgage companies do before. Accurate. It doesn't make a difference. It does make a difference, and it does it really matter if you give us your birthday? Yeah, it does. What's, the, what's yeah. the problem? It does. Sir, this is, this is a business here. We're trying to actually help. Yeah, well, I know this is a business, obviously. If you don't want to get help, that's fine. We have no, I do want to get help. I'm, help. I'm on the phone, so obviously I do. Sure. So just give me your birth month. I don't need the day. And then I can give you those numbers. Give me a, give me a uh, rate for February and give me November. I'll give you one or the other. We're not playing this game. Just uh, Were you born in February or were you born in November? Oh neither. I was born in March, sir. I was born in March. All right, well, good so you're for born you. in neither, so good for you. you're just... You're, you're just playing games with us. I'm not that. playing games, but it's not going to affect the rate. You told me you're not. It's it is, not going to affect the rate. I guarantee you, it's not going to affect the rate. rate. You're playing a game. I'm with not playing a right game. I, I'm just. It sounds like it. It's not. This well, is it's serious. Not. This is uh, okay. I know well, it's I mean, very serious. Okay, so will you please, you know, help us out here so we can? I'm help helping you out. Give me a rate for February. I'm 62 years old. Give me a rate for February. There you go. Look, it's a simple question. It helps us out a lot. We're not trying to get any info from you. If you were at Old Country Time Buffet and they said, hey, if your birthday is today, we're going to give you a free meal, you'd give them your birthday. No, you know? no, I wouldn't. Well, okay. I'm just trying to do your, our job, and it makes it hard. Well, you're not, you're, not, you're not giving me the accurate numbers, so you're not doing your job. Why won't you just give me the actual birthday so I can actually tell you the birth month? The birth month is all I need. I know your year. I don't need to know the day. Just give me a birth month so we can get you accurate info. You know, I, I'm sure you're an expert looking into this program. No, I just called around. Well, well, you haven't gotten an application from anyone yet. Just wait till that comes. No, I have. They couldn't have sent you an application if you didn't give them your right birthday. They did. Okay. Well, then deal with them, sir. I'm not dealing with them. I don't know what you're I don't know why you, 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 you're making because this so difficult. You think I'm jerking you around? I think you're jerking me around. Happy birthday. Hi, John. How are you? This is calling about the extended vehicle protection for the Honda. Okay. My roommate, uh, Daniel Jones, is on the phone, too. Cause yeah, we both on the car. Just to verify that I have the correct vehicle information for you, I'm showing current mileage right now is right around 40,000. Yep. Um, is it just over or just under 40? I think it's right in the middle. Because our cutoff for um, certain pricing levels is 40,000. Maybe if we just drive the car in reverse. Yeah, will we be able right. to do that at all? Right, right. Just, just like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, right? What's you remember that? that movie? No. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, in that movie, they uh, they they cut school and uh, steal one of the kids' father's Ferraris and drive it around, and then they get all these miles on it. So they say, all right, let's put it in reverse and take the miles off. And then when they put it in reverse, it ends up like wrecking and everything goes to hell. That's <laughs> 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 pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's not a Ferrari. It's a Honda Accord, so it's, it should be a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I saw that funny. movie. <laughs> I recommend it. It's a good movie. It's good on a Wednesday afternoon, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I never saw that movie. <laughs> 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 oh, Lamborghini. 
Yeah. Oh. I think it's a Ferrari. <laughs> oh, it's not even a Lamborghini. It's a Lamborghini. It's a Ferrari. <laughs> that makes it even funnier. <laughs> but did, did it work at least with the in the movie? I don't know. They wrecked the car. <laughs> oh, so you don't even know if it's a miles went back or not? I don't. I don't think it worked. <laughs> Uh, so you laughed again. <laughs> you know, he did, he did. You can't help it. Yeah. It's even funnier when, when when you find out how they wrecked it. They had it up on a on a little thing to like lift the wheels off the ground. Stop. And then the thing it fell off the thing and rolled right out of the window that was, that they had it parked in and it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how that's how they wrecked it. How they wrecked it? They weren't even driving it. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> You know what, sir? We don't need the insurance policy. We're just going to go rent that movie. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to you later. Yeah, maybe maybe next time. we got to see this movie. This sounds so funny. <laughs> later. Hello? Is Vince available? Uh, yeah, this is Vince. How are you doing today? Good. My friend Brian's on the, on the phone, too. Hello, Ray. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I'm doing so, good. Excellent. Why are uh, you having such a good day? I got laid. Hello? Hello, Ben? Yeah. Um. I didn't get laid today. That probably would have helped. And who's the other gentleman on the line? That's Brian, the guy didn't, that didn't get laid. Okay, Brian. Well... That would have definitely cheered up my day. I mean, it's been kind of a rough day, and I'm backed up about two weeks, so. So it sounds as if you two are having a, a, a good day. Well, um, no, I am, because I got laid, but he didn't. He's backed up like two weeks. You, we would like to have a constructive conversation helping Vince find a school. That would be great. No, we are. Um, but you just kind of threw us for a loop with that question. So I've got uh, Vince graduating high school in 2010. I can't believe you backed up two weeks. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, my girlfriend left me, so that's you know that's why I haven't gotten you know gotten laid in a while. Then, what would you be interested in studying? Computers. Computers. What would you like to do with computers? Yeah, I'm really looking to probably access porn. Ah, it doesn't sound like we're going to be very constructive today. I don't know what the problem is. Really, really need to keep the, the conversation on a higher plane, shall we say, and, and let's not go to any lurid details of your personal life. No, I know. Um, you just asked how our day was, and that we're just trying to answer honestly. I got laid twice this morning. That's why I'm in a good mood. We'll continue this at another time when we can be more. I can't believe you did it twice. What? Hello? Yeah, John Lowry? Yeah. This is in regards to your vehicle's warranty coverage. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you know the approximate mileage on your vehicle this time? Um, I'm not sure. The, the, co the co-owner of the car will probably tell you the mileage. Sure, sure, no problem. Luke, pick up. Luke? Hi. That's the co-owner of the vehicle? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just not a joke, sir. <laughs> okay. He was, he was laughing about something else. He, oh. know, he might know to get mileage on a car. Sir, so I believe that you're taking this phone call, not seriously. Who is it? You are, sir. Why are you saying that? Well, you put okay, a child on the phone. He's not, he's, not, he's not a child. He's got a high voice, sir. He's 24 years old. Really? Well, why don't you ask him what you needed to ask him? How many Luke? miles are on the vehicle? Luke, how many miles are on the vehicle? Um... 48. 48 what? Uh, 48 what? 48 miles. On a 2012 Honda Accord? Yes. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is just calling to verify you're receiving your newspaper. Pardon me? What? Are you receiving the New York Times? Which means what? Okay, I'll just cancel it, whatever it is. What's the problem? I want to know, is the newspaper coming? 
either yes or no. I don't understand what JGGG is. What do you mean? Is the newspaper coming, sir? Okay, I will classify this as refusing to speak English. Thank you. What's the problem? I want to know, is the newspaper coming? Yes or no? Okay, thank you for sharing. Goodbye. Uh, yes. Hi, sir. Happy New Year. We are continuing our aid program, sir. If we were to send you out a one-time pledge card... Yo, dude, you on the phone? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm on the phone. Who are you talking to? It's my cousin Stacy, all right? Stacy? Yeah. All right. Okay. Listen, if my, that, that's my annoying roommate. Oh, boy. And if he um, picks up the phone or whatever, just don't... Tell him what this is about, because he always does this. He always, whatever I want, he wants, and he doesn't have any money. He's just really annoying. Of you, huh? Yeah, I think so. Oh boy. Yeah. We'll send you out a two-part invoice. The other part. Oh, is can sent. you? I'm sorry. Can you hold on just one second? My food just got came to the door. Oh, sure. Okay, sure. Hello, Stacy. Who's this? Steve. Um. I needed to talk to you for a second. Well. Um, you didn't say anything to him about New Year's, did you? No. Oh, thank God. He has no idea that we hooked up, and he's gonna, he'd throw me out of here if he knew. No, I would never say no. Oh, thank God. Now, I didn't, he I didn't hear from you. I was worried. I didn't know. Are you mad at me? No. Are you sure? I'm just really busy. Oh, okay. Can I try to call you again? Sure. Um, I was also worried because, you know, I know, you know, we had a lot to drink, and we had unprotected sex. I, I just... I hope you didn't, you know, I was no. worried you got pregnant. No. Are you sure? Positive. I gotta tell you, I can't stop thinking about you. I just, uh, I just been thinking about, you know, that night and stuff, and I just hope I can see you again. Absolutely. You know. I, I do have to talk to him. Okay. Well, no, no, I just don't tell. You promise you won't tell him. No. And I you won't tell him I had you up against the wall and we're having, you know, sex from behind and all that. I'm not gonna say a word. All right. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Uh, hold on a second. I'll, uh, I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> he was trying to hit on me. He thinks I'm Stacy. Are you serious? Yeah. What did he say? He asked if he could continue calling me, and I said, yep, that's okay. Uh, I didn't even know he was talking to my, my cousin. Well, he... He must be seeing her behind my back or something. I'm not going to really repeat some of the stuff he said to me. Why? What else did he say? I can't repeat this on a telephone. Why? It, it just was... I get fired if I said something. Just tell me what he said, please. You know, I feel really uncomfortable with Don't. this. I mean, it was just kind of filthy and just all that. It was filthy? I don't want to repeat it. Because he's not going to be honest with me either, Stacy, and I need to know. He said they drank too much and they had unprotected sex and he wanted to know if I was pregnant. What? Literally. Steve. Steve. What? You had an affair with my cousin? What? What are you talking, with Stacy? No. What do you mean, no? No, what are you talking about? This woman on the phone told me that you were, you were hooked up with her, you were drunk one night, and you had unprotected sex with no. her, and you wanted to know if she was pregnant. Oh, my God, what did I get my cousin no, to here? Well, why would she say uh, that? I don't know. Did I tell you to stay away from her? No, I didn't do anything with her. You didn't do anything with her. She's lying. She's lying. Miss, are you lying? Did you not tell me that? I said it. Uh, no, she's lying. And Pack your bags, no. get out. No, God, what did I get myself into? Hello. James, this is from college. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, are you interested in going back to school? Or? Yeah. Okay. W would you like to make an appointment? Yeah. How about tomorrow? Uh, no, tomorrow's no good. Okay. Thursday. What time? Okay, how about 2 o'clock? No. 3? No. All right, can you help me out? I said the afternoon. Um, after, um, after 12 o'clock, or? All right, all right. How about 4 o'clock? No. 5 o'clock? Nope. All right, um, all right, can I call you back? Why? Because you can't, I, I don't think I'm going anywhere. What do you mean? We're I, trying to set up an appointment.
Can you give me a time? Yeah, we're trying to set up an appointment. How about, how about, how about 5.30? No. Six? That's not really the afternoon, no. How about five? You said that one already. I know, I, I'm running out of time. I, all right. What's the problem? I don't know. I can't make an appointment with you. I, well, I'd I, like to make an appointment. I said in the afternoon. One fifteen. No. Two o'clock. No, that won't work. Two thirty. No. Three. Uh, no. Three fifteen. is in the afternoon, sir, then we already go over this. I, all right, I'm running out of time. I'm down to 5.45. No. All right, then I, 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 I have no time available for you. I'll call you back, okay? What is the problem? Uh, I have to go. You know, you call and then you don't want to make an appointment. Hello? Hello, Jane? Yeah. I'm giving you a call for a credit counselor. Uh, hello? For Jack and hello? Yeah. Hey, dude, you still on the phone? Yeah. All right, because uh, i got to call my brother and find out if he had a good new year. Yeah, I'm still on the phone. Okay. Hello? All right, do you have a few moments? Or? Yeah, I have a few moments, yeah. Yo, you still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Bank consolidation is a program. Yo, you still on, dude? Yeah. You on the phone? Yeah. Okay. It was developed to help consumers pay their debt. You still on the phone, bro? Yeah. All right. Well, if you want, I give you a call about. No, this is fine. Actually, I got to run out to work a little bit, so I got to get sorted with now. It was what developed what? Debt consolidation is a program. Yo, you still on? Yeah. Okay. All right. Debt consolidation is a program. Right. Oh, you still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Debt, Debt consolidation was what? Is a program. It was. Developed. Yo, you still on the phone, dude? Yeah. All right. Could you bear with me for a moment? I'd like to get this done now. I mean. Okay. All right, Dan Consolidation is a program. Are right, you still on the phone? Yeah. All right. Okay. Is a program. Is a program developed by the bank. You still talking on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, let's try it again. Dan Consolidation is a program. Right. Hello? Yeah. Yo, you still on? Yeah. Debt consolidation is a program? Right. Okay. It was developed by the banking industry. It's developed. Still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Who's that guy that keeps picking up the phone? It's my roommate. You know, we only have one phone in the house. Oh, okay. We don't pick up too many times, sir. So I can give you a call back later. No, this is fine, because i got to go to work in a little bit. Because he's picking up every three seconds. Well, no, he seems like he's not picking up right now, so maybe we can get through this. Debt consolidation is a program. Yo, you still on? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll give you a call later. Sir, I'm right. Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm calling with the newspaper. Do you know who will be in charge of renewing the subscription? Uh, I am right now. Actually, it looked like it was just recently started. It just hasn't been paid for yet. Okay, so what do I have to do? Um, I can take a check or credit card over the phone. Okay, can I have the address? P.O. Box. Five zero one. I didn't pick up what you just said. Okay, it's McLean, Virginia. M C O. M C L E A N, Virginia. Okay, and then I just send it to that address, and that's nine zero seven two five, right? Neil Box five zero one six. Five seven zero. Five zero one six. Five seven zero four six. Five zero one six. All right, well, maybe you could just give me your address. I just gave you the address. The I, but you went so fast, ma'am. I can give it to you one more time. I know, but I just want to make sure I got the right address. P.O. Box 501 McLean. Is there McLean again? M.C. Right. L.E.A.N. Virginia. Ugh. 22102. Whoa, slow down. Are you going to a fire or something? Is there anything else I can help you with? When do I have to mail the check? You 
email the checkout and we receive it by May 22nd, you will not have any disruption. So how many weeks would that be? I can't tell you the exact date. Okay, you started the subscription. We give you a certain amount of time to send the check in. But I have a whole checkbook of when I send my checks out. Well, then you're going to have to send us a copy of... I've never seen a check like that before. Well, then, because you didn't pay for it. I know, but how is he going to pay for it when he doesn't know when he has to mail the check in? I, May 22nd. Yeah, May 22nd. That's when you said before. It has to be mailed in by May 22nd, or the paper will stop. There's a lot of knuckleheads out there, and I don't, I couldn't get, I don't know if I get the check out in time. The I'm, paper is going to stop if we don't receive a check. I know, but it's only done paying for it. They're just didn't check one out. Um, if you'd like to check into it and give us a call back, I gave you the customer service number of 1-800. Now, is that going to be a toll on my it's, phone bill? No, it's toll free. Because I don't have car. long distance. It got switched off. Okay, is there anything else I can help? Okay, what, how much is it for to, to get it for a year? For a year, is $119. Does this delivery include the Sunday paper? No, it's only Monday through Friday. They, they don't even sell it on the newsstand? No, we don't for the have... For the Sunday paper? We don't have a Saturday or Sunday paper at all. The one I'm getting now, <laughs> it comes on the weekend. Well, you have all the information, so if you would like to continue with the... And the check's for $139 for the six months, right? No. Three months is That's what you said, ma'am. You no, said $139 for six months. No, I didn't. Including I didn't the weekends. There, I'm sorry. If you have any other questions, please call the customer service. I, I, we, I do have a question, miss. I don't know why. Okay, then you're going to... We're having a problem. Okay, well, I, I don't think that I can help you because I'm, I'm telling you some information and... You're saying something completely different back to me. I've tried to give you the information. I miss, I know. We're just going to try to answer a couple of questions. Okay, well, I don't think I can assist you any further, but I can well, you our customer service. Do you want, no, I don't need a customer. I just want to know when I'm in the middle of checkout. It has to be mailed by May 22nd. Jessica, I'm getting very confused with all these voices. I know. For some reason, I keep hearing all these different voices, too. I'm sorry if I'm unable to help you any further. I gave you our customer service line. But why can't we? You. I ask you the question. Because I cannot answer that for you. I don't have that information. Miss, what? I gave you all the information. Why I are you Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling. I'm just telling you I gave you all the information I have, and I can't help you any further. But it's just a simple question. Yes, and I'm sorry. I guess I can't answer simple questions. The other thing is, do we have a confirmation number? There is no confirmation number. Just let them know you spoke to Jessica. Yeah, but the Jessica, there's probably a lot of Jessicas that work for No, there isn't. I'm the only one. And I'm sorry, I have to go through. You're the only one. one. You're the only Jessica that works for I don't believe you. Hi, um, is this Casey Price? Yeah. Okay, um, I need to verify the information and I can tell you about the vacation you can receive? Yeah, hold on one second. Let me just put you on my brother. Hold on one second. Okay. Hello? Hi. I guess he wants me to talk to you about this? Okay, yeah. Hold on a second. They put my brother on the phone. Hello? Hi, Mr. Price. Yeah. Can I verify this information with you now? Okay, hold on. Let me just put my brother on real quick. Hello? Hi. Can I verify this information with you? Sure. Your occupation's not listed. Hold on a second. They put my brother on the phone. Hello? Hi. Are you guys not interested? No, I'm not interested. Okay. Um, could you, uh, give me your occupation? Hold on. Let me put my brother on real quick. Hello? Hi, it's me again. Um, Let me put my brother back on. Hello? I guess I'm just going to have to give this gift to a more qualified family. Miss, we're trying to get the verification. Okay, well, congratulations. You can receive four round-trip airline tickets. How does that sound to you? Well, hold on one second. Let me just put my brother on. Hello? Hi. Um, <clears throat> your brother asked me to uh, go over this. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me put my brother on the phone. Hello? Hi, would you be able to come up for a tour? Well, were we supposed to uh, set up an appointment or something? Would you like to set up an appointment? Um, hold on, let me put my brother on for a second. Hello? Which day is best for you guys to come up for a tour? This Saturday and Sunday or next Saturday and Sunday? Saturday's good for me, but I don't know about my brother, so hold on. Hello? Your brother said Saturday's best for him. Does that work for you? Hold on, let me put my brother on. Hello? I'm going to book you guys for the 23rd. Do you have directions? Yes, I can give you directions. Okay, let me put my brother on the phone. Hello? Are you closer to 78 or 80? 78 or 80? Yes. Hold on, let me put my brother on. Hello? Are you guys closer to 78 or 80? Hold on, let me put my brother on. Mr. Price, I'll be able to send you everything in the mail. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. We are in the... Sir? Yeah. We are high quality CDR and DVDR. You are interested? 
Yeah. I'm location in the car start. We are coming out. Yeah. Sir? Yeah. And then where are your location? Port Lee. Oh, Jim, you know, you know me. Sir? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, we sell about that the CDR, you know, the high quality. Sir? Yeah. You bought to from... Uh, Sir? Yeah. Are you hear me? Yeah. Okay, tell me. What? And then uh, we are in the high quality. Sir? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yeah. I tell you, you know, before Malagi, he bought uh, our... Sir? Yeah. I have to sell about it. You're much Excuse better. me, sir? Keep breaking up. You say like two words and then you stop. I want to give you my address. Okay. Five five. Five five. Sir. Hmm? Five, five, sir. Yeah. Five five. Sir. Industrial sir. Start. Wait a minute. You gotta go a little slower. Yeah. What was that again? Five five. Sir. Five. I didn't get the first part. Five five. Excuse five. me, sir. Five. What? Zero. Right. Industrial. Sir? Industrial. Excuse me, sir? Yeah. Industrial. Yes, sir? Are you hear me? Yeah. Industrial. Lord. Right. Hard. Sir? Yeah. Industrial Road. Hard. Sir? Um, what's the directions? That's uh, coming uh, from uh, uh, Route 40. Sir? Yeah. Route, uh, Excuse me, sir? Uh, yeah, Route 40. Sir? Yeah. So what are the directions? Route 46. Excuse me, sir? Yeah, Route 46. Route 46. 17 North. S uh, 17 South. You have to wait. Excuse me, sir? Huh? Sir? So far, I got 17 South. Hobo sir? Hobo sir? Hobo sir? Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, Hobo Kondo. Sir? <coughs> um, all right, I got some, most of it, I guess, 17 South. And uh, Hobo Kondo. Excuse me, sir?
we offer home delivery service at half price for the next 12 weeks at your convenience, at your doorstep, for, for $3.60, seven-day service, sir. You understand what I'm saying, sir? Uh, on Friday, we have the weekend. You want to check out new releases of Broadway show, shows. Hello, sir. Hello. You sleeping? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, sir. Hello? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I thought you were sleeping on me, sir. No, it's just, uh, I'm sorry, I just, uh... No way. That's what? Uh, I just got back from, uh, from Florida. Oh, you just got back from Florida? No. Miami? No. Tampa? No. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, sir, we, we have this paper for our price. You understand what I'm saying? For the next 12 weeks, you know, if you if you don't want the deal service, I'll just give you the weekend special for $2. Would you like to be an um, opportunity to capitalize on the offer, sir? Mr. James? Mr. James? Uh, uh, hello? Hello, Mr. James? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're what? sorry? I, oh, you're I, sorry, I, bro. I just, uh, sorry, I just conked out. Oh, I forget the middle part, uh, what you were saying. Uh, I think I missed a couple things. A couple things? Yeah. Like what you missed, sir? I don't know. I missed it. I don't know what I missed. Okay, I'm I was going to know if I, if I missed it. <laughs> all right, all right, sir. I'll really, tell you what. I'll I go over my pitch again. Uh, okay, yeah. I was saying that we have the um, seven-day search for $3.60. And uh, we you get it delivered from, uh, you start delivering from Monday through Friday. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello? Uh, hello? Yes, sir. Oh. Hello? Would you like me to call you back in a more convenient time? No, um, I gotta get up anyway, so. So what's a good time to call you back? No, this is this this is fine. I'm a, I got epileptic. Oh, you got epileptic? Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Where I fall, uh, fall asleep. Oh, you fall asleep easy. Okay. Yeah. So wait, it's uh, the paper. Yes, sir. I used to read that paper too. Uh, it's a great paper. You can continue reading it again. I know, the problem is I'm blind. Oh, did you see to pick the phone up if you're blind? Sir, blind people can do things. Oh, they could do things. What are you saying? I that, I can't, that I'm handicapped, that I can't pick a phone uh, up? I ain't trying to say that. I think that's very ignorant that you said that. All right. So you don't want to try the service out then, right, sir? I'm going to have to check on my wife. All right. Hold on, right? Uh, I'm holding on. Oh. Are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm still here. I just fell. You just fell? Where's my dog at? She's not here. Oh. I thought I smelled her. All right, bye. This is the newspaper confirming that the delivery is coming to the house. I haven't been home in the last few days. I've been in the hospital. I'm sorry. Yeah, you just called me on my cell phone. That's right. I'm at the doctor's office. I'm trying to see if I think of my roommate's home right now. I can call him real quick. All right. When you go home... I actually, um, I think he's in the waiting room. Mr. Clarkson? Hold on a second. Here he is. Hi, Doc. Um, you know, we, we're going to send the results back again, but it looks like you, you have the inhalation anthrax. I'm sorry. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Can't they do one... Any other tests or something? We're gonna send it back, but in the for precaution, we're gonna we're gonna send an ambulance over right now. Oh. So we'll get the nurse to get your uh, your pajamas. What happened? I have inhalation anthrax. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well, they can treat that, can't they? <coughs> no, not inhalation. Oh my god. I got three. He said three to five days. Three to five days what? To live. No way. He just told me. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's done. Oh, my God. Could you do me one favor? Could you maybe get the paper to me? Because I'd like to read the paper before they uh, pass away. So where you want the paper delivered now, sir? Maybe just send it to the hospital. No, he can't go to the hospital. They don't do that type of service. It's just for... You know, for me, I mean, it's only going to go there for three days. It's not like it's going to go there forever. Hold on one second. Hello? This is a... We don't have that, you know, that service where we could just transfer it to the hospital. Miss, I just found out I got inhalation anthrax, okay? I got three to five days to live. I'm in the doctor's office. I'm taken away in an ambulance in ten minutes. All I'm asking is that I could just read the paper a few more times. No, we don't deliver to hospitals. All I want to do is read the funnies before I before I go. There's nothing I could do, really. We don't deliver there. 
Miss, I need, you know, a Dennis the Menace is going to brighten up my mood, or Garfield, or somebody. The ambulance is here. <sighs> oh, man, the ambulance is here now. Miss, I wanted to just get, at least get my obituary in your paper. I'm sorry, sir, but... You, you know, I grew up in this area. I want people to know, you know, that I passed on. Could you... Well, do you have a pen there? Sir, whenever the time comes that you know you, you know, you're going to pass on... I don't have family. I don't have any family left, all right? I got to give someone my obituary. Can you write it down real quick? Write down your... No, I, I can't do that, sir. Just put down... He, no, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. He was a good I guy. I can't do that. I can't take down your obituary. You he know. survived by his friend Don. And, you know, he went to Madison Central High School. That's it. That's not a lot. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. No. Miss, I got inhalation anthrax. I just found out today. Give me a break. I'm sorry for what Can you give me a break already? I got three to five days before I die. I'm not even going to see Christmas. If you want to do that, just call our classified department and I'll put it in. Miss, the ambulance is waiting for me right now. I can't do that, all right? I like the Dolphins. I'm leaving my friend Steve. I went to Madison Central High School and I was a good guy. I understand what you're going through. This is the other thing. I'm so sorry that they don't do that. I'm admitting this. i got to put this mask on. But you're not helping me. You won't give me a paper to the hospital. You won't even write my obituary down. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Please, miss. All right. Um, where's your roommate? Uh, he just left. Miss, he just left. He ran out of here. I... I the doctor told him I got anthrax, and he ran away because he thinks I'm going to give it to him. Um, I tell you what, when you go in the hospital, just give us a call. I can't, miss. I'm, I'm going to be hooked up to all these machines. Give us a call, then, okay? Miss, I can't. All right, I'm going to take you. They're going to have me quarantined in there, okay? What hospital? I don't know when they're sending That's me. That's what I'm trying to tell you, that we can't do it. Then. How are we going to expect No, I, I, well, I don't care about the paper now. <laughs> just write my obituary down. You work for the, 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 the newspaper. You send it to the classified. Look, this guy's dying in a few days. Here's his obituary. It's as simple as that. It's all the same paper. Well, we can't do that. Yes, you can do it. Do you want me to connect you to the news desk? No, I want you to just... <coughs> Mr. Ambulance is waiting. I just want you to take the obituary from me. Mask on. I have to ask you to end your call. Miss, now i got to go because they're putting the mask on me. Okay. <coughs> oh! Yeah. <coughs> I like that dolphin flag and a flint steam. I like the laugh and so forth. All right, very good. I'm right. Right there, you're going. Okay. I'm going. Bye. Bye. I'm calling reference to your account card that you currently are carrying. Right. Okay, not to be alarmed. There's nothing wrong with your account. I'm the account. You sure? I'm positive. Wow. Yeah. I got a call earlier today. I just found out I hit that old lady. Or that uh, hit and run, but... Oh, well, I'm, I hope everything works out all right for you. Yeah, uh, everything's fine with me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her. Mm. Well, um, she's old. She's old? Yeah. Now, did you have any other balances out there that you wanted to pay off? Yeah, because you know what? I'm going to have to pick up this, uh, this old bag's uh, medical expenses. Mm -hmm. She had lucky she had a depends on, so it kind of broke the fall a little. didn't hurt as much. You know, I guess the padding uh -huh. of the diaper or something, so uh -huh. it only broke her hip. Mm. And you have available, um, like, $12,000 to you. Do you have any idea how much a hearing aid goes for, no. by any chance? Not at so all. So I knocked it right out of her ear and it ran it over. i got to cover that. Right. I understand that perfectly. You know those, uh, those stupid sunglasses that old people wear, you know, those black wraparounds? Right. Okay. You know that they. I have a familiar of that. Do you know how much they cost? Unfortunately, I don't. I wouldn't know. Mm. I crushed her walker too. I don't know how much those things go for. They what, like a couple hundred maybe. Right. Because the thing's mangled. You know what I mean. I'm, right. It probably would have just been better to just kill a bitch. You know. Hmm. But you guys got 12 grand I can actually get, which would probably help me out. Right. You don't know how much a set of choppers is? Choppers? Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't. Because right now she's got nothing. You know, she looks like Gumby. I had to go to the hospital the other day and say I was sorry. Right. I, I do. I really do understand, sir. We can take care of that for you right now, unless you would like me to try you back at a later time. No, no. I mean, I'm just trying to figure this all out, if you can give me a second. Okay. Besides the broken hip, because I'm not paying for that, because, I mean, eventually she's going to fall anyway and break a hip. That's the way I look at it. Right. 
What would you say the sunglasses? Three hundred, maybe. They may be about that. The dentures. What would you say that goes for? I couldn't tell you how much the dentures will cost. All right. So the healing aid is. I don't know. What do you say? Grand for two of them, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Fifteen hundred. Maybe a little bit more than that. All right. Let's go two grand with okay. it. Okay. Okay. And then um, varicose veins. I mean, she was blue to begin with. All right. Let's go with two grand on that. How much can you transfer into my account? $12,960. Oh, wait, wait, oh, one second. I forgot the girdle. How much is a girdle? I, I don't know, sir. Let's say a uh, hundred, and then a, a couple boxes, depends. Diapers would be, what do diapers go for? 30 bucks a box, would you it say? May be, it may be a little bit more than that. More than that. All right, let's go 35, so thir I'll get a three boxes. Okay. I got $7,050 here. Uh-huh. And you know what? Seven thousand fifty. I got to pay for this. I think it's just cheaper to just go kill her. Hello. Okay. Well, sir, I'm gonna have to go ahead and disconnect this call right now. But like why? I said, um, if you go ahead and give us a call at our toll-free number, we'll be glad to. Um, no, I know, but I just I'm I'm thinking it's probably okay, gonna be I'm easier. Gonna have to disconnect the call now. Listen, I'll go down to the hospital. I'm gonna strangle with a pillow, put one over her face, and then I'll call you guys back. Hello. Hello. Casey, I'm calling from Electronic. Incorporated. Hi, what can I do for you, Touch? We help you to accept credit cards from customers. Right. What type of service or product is it that you offer? Well, it's an escort service. Okay, all right. Um, are you currently accepting credit cards from customers? Or? Yeah, I mean, but a lot of the guys come in here, you know, with the girls. They don't really have credit cards. Well, basically what we do is we set you up with the merchant account, and then you would be able to accept the credit cards from your customers. Or any of the girls, the prostitutes, going to have to fill out any forms. No, they don't have to because you're the owner of the company. Okay, I'm just making sure because, I mean, most of them are like, you know, on crack and they shake a lot, so they're not going to be able to really fill out paperwork. No problem. You're the owner of the company. So the problem is if I put the money on the credit cards, how are my, um, you know, my hookers going to get their money? You have to pay them. I know, but they, you know, they like the money as soon as they're done. You know, as soon as they're finished with whatever service the guy wanted, they like to get paid right there. I can send you the information. Okay, so it's no problem that, you know, it's an escort service and I'm basically their pimp and stuff, so I could still go right. through your right. company. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter that, you know, whatever's going on. Right, right. Okay? So, so you guys have no problem dealing with, like, a pimp, then? Hold on one sec. Now, are you offering an escort service, or are you a, are you a pimp? Well, I mean, it's, it's escort okay. service. But you keep calling them hookers and prostitutes, and we don't set up for pimp. And you can be an escort service, but not a pimp. Well, it's, I mean, I run the escort service, but I'm basically their pimp. And I'm sorry, we cannot help you. Would you be interested, maybe, because I'm looking for some other girls? Thank you for inquiring. Do you have any friends that are sluts? Hello? Hello? Mr. Price? Yeah. With the uh, partners. Yeah, could you speak a little louder? Yeah, and uh, I'm getting back to you because obviously... You're going to have to speak a little louder than that, sir. You're requesting some information? That's too me? loud. That's too loud. That's too loud. Well, th how's this? Um, Is all right? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, the partners who we are are raising capital... You're going to have to go a little louder. The partners are raising capital... It's the same. It didn't, you didn't... Goodbye. This is ridiculous. Sorry, I'm trying. If you. Hello. Yeah. Hi, my name is Bob. I'm with what I wanted to do was, uh, you were interested in uh, maybe uh, getting together, uh, setting up an appointment, and uh, reviewing some of the uh, finances. Yeah. Is this a bad time? No, it's fine. Okay. Sounds like I'm getting in the middle of a workout. No, no. Okay. I, I suggest that we get together. You might want to come by the office. Yeah, let's get together. So, uh, when would you like to set something up? Uh, as soon as possible would be great. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it soon. Are you going to be there for a, a little while? Uh, not really, no. Oh. Uh, okay. But when, can, when can you come over? When you want me to come over. I'll be good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. So you want to do it uh, 
In the morning? Yeah, I like to do it in the morning. Okay. okay. When? I'll on my back. Tell me. You want to come in at 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock, you want to come in? Yeah. Yeah. What should I wear? Uh, what should you wear? Yeah. Casual suits? Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, can I go here? I've got to call. I gotta no, call. keep going. Okay. Got a pencil there? Yeah, I got a pencil. Yeah. Ridgewood Avenue. Ridge. What was that? Ridgewood? Right. Wood, yeah. Avenue? F, Wood, F, yeah. Oh, mm. Paramus. Oh, yeah, yeah, Paramus. Route 17, you get off on the Ridgewood Avenue exit. Get off, get off what? The Ridgewood Avenue exit when you go on the Route 17 North. Yeah, get off. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Okay? Keep going. Uh, you want my phone number? Yeah, give me your number, yeah. Six I definitely seven. want your number. 967. Six. Six. When can I call? I call any time? Yeah. Okay. Okay? Good. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. The reason for the call, sir, like I said, not to harass you or sell you anything, but just to inform you that we launched the program where you can take advantage of a cheaper rate of five cents a minute. Well, what? Yeah. You want to say something? No, yes. Okay, five cents a minute every day. So he charges five ninety five a month for the service. What? Excuse me. What? You have a good day, sir. No, just keep going. What I was saying was, what we were calling to do is just give you. Well. You have a good day. Why are you keep saying you gotta go? I mean, because you keep cutting across me and I can't say anything. I'm only offering you a cheaper service, sir. That's all I'm trying to do is offer you what, a rate what? of five cents instead of ten. But it... I mean, you keep saying what? That's all I'm trying to do is offer you the rate of five cents but e instead um, of ten but cents. E Are you with me? Could you repeat it again? Because it wasn't. The charge is five ninety-five a month for their service, and the rate per minute but, is uh, ten cents. But... Goodbye. Uh -huh. Have a good day. And what? I mean, you keep saying what? You're very impatient, miss. I mean, cause I, every time I say something, you say what? I mean, as simple as that. You have ten cents, we have five. I have the five ninety five service fee for seven dollars. Wait, yeah, seven um, cents. E, e. You have a good day. I don't know why you can't just give me the information. I've already gave you the information, sir. I already told you what we have. I know, but you're talking pretty quick, and I'm asking you questions, and you're like saying have a good day because I asked you a question. Sorry. And the monthly fee for the program is for... But, wait. You know, you keep breaking up, so it's like, you know, you, you're not flowing. You know, you say something like halfway, and then you stop. And I mean, would you like the service, or wouldn't you like the service? Well, what do I have to do to get the service? Uh, we ask you just for a road charge uh, assistance. But, Hold on a minute, I'm gonna let you speak to my supervisor, okay? Why, why can't I speak to you? Because I'm, I'm done. Hello? Yes? Hi, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just in the middle of giving my grandfather a bath. Oh, okay, well, that's nice of you. Okay, I'm sorry. Have a good time? No, it's okay, I mean, okay. I just want to give him the bath all the time, but he's just, he doesn't like when I touch him in certain spots. Okay. And your, your first name is J E S S E? Yeah. Price, T R I C. Behind my neck. Yeah. Behind my I'll get behind your neck. Relax. Don't, I'm sorry, miss. Yes. And would you prefer that I call you in about half an hour? No, no. Just, I'd rather just get this done. Pressure on you. No, I'd just rather get this done now. It's okay. What are you standing up in the tub for? What are you doing? You can't go to the bathroom in the tub. What are you doing? Mr. Price, I'll Jimmy. call you about an hour. No, it's fine. It's what fine, miss. Because I'm afraid he's going to... No, it's okay. Look, I, there's no toilet. Just stand there. Just hold on a second, all right? Okay. Now he's peeing. How old is he? He's 82. Uh, are you okay? Grandpa, are you okay? No, no. Are you okay? I can't move, Jimmy! He just fell. And it's 
I am not can't call an ambulance. Just shut up. I'm trying to get this information. I need one more minute on the phone. Look, do you want me to stick your head under the water? Look, all right? Okay, miss, hurry up. Shut up. Okay. And you can make phone payments of 4475 Yeah. Please don't drop me. I, I, I just, just, if I put them under for like 30 seconds, it's fine. Okay, uh, I'll verify the package you will arrive by UPS within the next two weeks. And from the day of arrival, you will have the 30 days for trial. Hold on, Grandpa. Grandpa? What happened? He's not moving. Pull him out from the water. He's out from the water now. So why is he not moving? I might have had him under too long. Grandpa, Grandpa. Oh, man. Okay, you better go to him, okay? What do I do? Call 911. You don't even have a pulse, oh my God. When When's the package gonna come? The package will arrive by UPS within the next two weeks. From the day of arrival, you will have the three days for trial period. And I suggest very strongly that you call 911. Yeah, I know. I just want to make sure this package is going to come. You can wait a minute. I mean, I just want to make sure we got all the information. Yes, you He's did. He's still not moving. Oh, man. Within the next two weeks, 10 to 14 working days. Right. He's still not breathing. Sir, call 911. I don't want to get in trouble, though. I mean... Sir, the longer you wait, the longer you're in trouble. Why don't you hang up and call 911? What if he doesn't make it and, I, and, and then I get in trouble because I was the one who did it? Don't talk to me. He's your grandpa. Tell them that he fell and he's not moving and not breathing. Call 911. Yeah, but I had his head under the water. I mean, it was really my fault. Well, sir, uh, you know, I'm not the judge. So I know, I know, but it's... I, please hang up and call 911, sir. But I'm, I don't want to get in trouble. Sir... Give him mouth to mouth. I can't do that. That's like kissing a guy or okay, something. I'm going to hang up, okay? And you dial 911. Hello? Hi, Jesse. Um, I spoke to you over an hour ago. Yeah. What happened with your grandpa? He died. What happened? Yeah, you know, he fell and then... Oh, he didn't make it when that they took him away. Oh, boy. I'm really very sorry. I you know. That's all right. I mean, you know, you didn't have his head under the water, you know. Well, you know, um, I, I was just that. trying to get the information for the thing, you know. And I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say either. <sighs> I shouldn't have stuck his head under the water, but I just wanted to get the information. Well, maybe it was time to go. <laughs> okay, you have yourself a good night. I don't know how I could. No, don't, just don't think about it, okay? Yeah. Okay, be well. All right. So, it's coming to two, two to three weeks, you said, the package. Bye. Hello? Hi, Jesse. Um, I spoke to you over an hour ago. Yeah. What happened with your grandpa? He died. What happened? You know, he fell and, and then... Oh, he didn't make it when that, they took him away. Oh, boy. I'm really very sorry. I, you know... That's all right. I mean, you know... He didn't have his head under the water, you know. Well, you know... Um, I, I, really I was that. just trying to get the information for the thing, you know. And I just don't know what to say. <laughs> either. I shouldn't have stuck his head under the water, but I just wanted to get the information. Well, maybe it was time to go. <laughs> okay, you have yourself a good night. I don't know how I could. No, don't, just don't think about it, okay? Yeah. Okay, be well. All right. So, it's coming in two, two to three weeks, you said, the package. Bye. Hi, is this Jack? Yeah, this is Jack. Jack, hi, this is Monica at the Right, I'm in the middle of easy time. That's all right. Um, we received a subscription form from you, but there was no check with it. No, no check? No. Yeah. It says a uh, check number and everything, but there was actually no check in the envelope. Really? No. Um, hmm. 
was all for chuckling there. It was check number 147. And you must have made it out for $75, because that's what you've taken, but there was actually no check in the envelope. Mm. Um, just sucking my checkbook here. Uh, oh, I don't see it in here. Excuse me? Oh, I don't see it here. Sir. Is this Jesse Florentine? Yes, it is. Uh, this is Claude M Holmes. Uh, the Poconos. I can, can you speak a little louder? I can't. I, I have a problem with my hearing. Uh, I hear you a little. This is Claude M Holmes. Right. Up in the Poconos. Up in the Poconos, yeah. I'm one of the owners. I, I, I didn't pick up the last part of that. I said I'm one of the owners. You're one of the owners? Right. Okay. I was wondering if I could answer some questions for you. You want to ask me to the prom? Is that what you said? No, I said, could I answer some questions for you? Oh, can you answer some questions? Yes, right. yes. Well, what would you like to ask me? I, where, where exactly are you in the Poconos? Near Big Boulder Ski Area. Excuse me? Near Big Boulder Ski Area. Uh, how far would that be from the Delaware Water Gap? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Right. What kind of area is it? Is it like a suburban area? No, it's country. It's country? Right. Okay, um, what kind of prices are we looking at? What kind of prices you want? Uh, I don't know. You know, I just uh, came into some money, so... You have your own land? Yeah. Where's that at? Well, it's in Jersey. Oh, where at in Jersey? What did you say about Jersey? Where in Jersey? Oh, where in Jersey? Um, it's in uh, right outside of Morristown. Well, I'll send you some information. How's that? You're going to send someone to kick my ass? What you say? I'll send you some information. What, is, uh, you're going to send me some information and what? Right. What kind of information? I have your address. I'll get it out to you. Could you say that one more time? I'll get it out to you. You're gonna you're gonna take me out. You're gonna take me out. What do you mean out? Like on a date? I can't talk any louder. I'm calling on behalf of the newspaper. Do you read it, sir? I'm blind. Okay, thank you very much. No, but I, I might want to get it, though. Okay, well, the reason that I'm calling is because we're doing a half-off promotion. Um, would I be able to get a, a discount even more since I can't see? I don't think so. Maybe you could check with somebody. Okay, hold on. Rob, he wants to know. Can I understand you have a question about our discount rates? I'm blind. Um, the 50% off is all we're offering right now. Anything past that, you can call our customer service number and they can help you out. With I know, but I mean, that's fine for somebody that could see. I mean, that's oh, good, I, but I mean... I understand it. I'm not... Someone that can, I, I would think that, you know, you'd be able to do a little better on the price. Okay, um, like I said, you'd have to call up our customer service number and ask them if they can cut your pricing any further. All right, if I was going to get it, uh, I, I need to know where they were going to deliver it, like where they were going to throw the paper, because... Okay, you know, I won't be able to find it every morning. Okay, we'll deliver it to your front door, sir. I know, but I need to know what spot they would put it in. Okay, we could drop it right as you open your front door. All you would have to do is step right down, and the paper would be right there in front of your door. Um, would in be a blue plastic bag. Well, I wouldn't even know that it would be blue. Okay, it'll but be a would, plastic bag labeled with your name. Would I be able to, like, maybe if I if I circled out a spot? Um, 
like you know, for the guy to deliver it, you know, I could put like a chalk outline, like they do around the dead bodies. Um, no, just because I, 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 I understand what you mean by that, sir. And okay, I don't want to say yes, and then he not be able to place it where you want it placed. See, I have one of those metal detectors that people use on the beach. Uh huh. So if somehow there could be like a metal thing in the bag. I could just go out there with, with it, the pole and just feel around. Best thing I can do, sir, is I can tell you we can guarantee it to your front door. Okay, because we can put in special comments that you know your eyesight is not that good, and then we need it delivered to the front door. Well, it's not even not that good. It's gone. Okay. No. I mean, I wish it was. Okay. It was well, not that good. Yeah. Uh, eyesight. You know, eyesight poor. Delivered to front door. It's not even poor. It's eyesight gone. Okay, so we can put that in there, sir. Then eyesight gone. Delivered to front door. Okay. If you guys can guarantee me to be a a metal thing just in a bag or something just because so, I go out there with the detector and then I would know. Um, I don't know of any metal except for the Sunday paper that has the um, magazines in it that comes with the staples in it. What if they just during the regular week they just stapled the bag shut because then it would be staples every day and then it wouldn't be a problem. Right. Um, I don't know. It all depends on the person that does the deliveries. We'll call you back around 12.30 this afternoon, okay? Yeah, because I just want to make sure because I don't want to fall again. I lost okay. a tooth. All right, sir. Hello? Yes. Uh, Mr. Florentine? Yes. My name is Diane and I'm calling with Financial. And I'm not trying to sell your credit card, sir. I have selected you to receive a free proposal for their home equity line of credit. The only thing I do today is ask you a few preference questions. We'll call you back in three days with a free proposal. Okay. If it suits your needs, you give us a call, okay? Who are you? Wait, who are you? Hello? My name, my no, name is Diane. No, no, no. Uh, sir, this is my house. What are you doing? Where's the money? Sir, this is my house. How did you get in here? Watch your hands, bud. Hello? Yes. Yeah. What was that? S some guys in my house. Well, do you think you should get them out? <sighs> yeah, I should, but I don't know. Watch I don't know. Your hands, buddy. Sir. Hello? Yeah. Miss, okay, keep going. I'm sorry. This free proposal is designed exclusively for homeowners. Even S comes with a... Sir, what are you doing? I, I talk, just, Where's look, your money? I don't have anything. What are you talking about? Watch your hands, Bill. Ow, 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 right in the knee. Oh. Are you all right? I, yeah, uh, keep going. I just... What was that? He shot me right in the knee. He shot you in the knee? He shot me in the knee, yeah. yeah. So what, uh, what were you saying about the equity? I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding, but just... Uh, keep going? Yeah, I mean, I... What uh, happened? I'm this, sorry. This free proposal is designed to... Homeowners even comes with a potential tax because it is a home equity line. Your it's a home equity line, right? Your tax advisor can advise you regarding the possibility of interest. Now, it's your uh, single family home? Yeah, it's a, sing a single family home. Look, sir, sir, I'm trying to get this equity loan. What's the interest rate? Miss, Smith, wait, miss, what's the interest rate? The guy wants to know. He's well, you know what? I don't think it's any of his concern. <laughs> She said it's not. Was, what, what is the interest rate? Please tell him. I do. The guy's got a gun. Can you please? The money, can you just tell him what it is? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hello. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. 
Real Central. Okay. What's the address? What? What was that? Your address. 241. Whatever you want. Okay, thanks. Um, what, what, what do with Chuck? Excuse me? What do with Chuck? I can barely understand you. You're like chewing in my ear. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I got a thigoid problem. I can't help eating. <laughs> What's your mouth? Hello? Yeah. Okay, that'll be it. Anything else? Uh, no. Hello, Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, good afternoon. Purpose of my call? Need to verify your address, of course. Also, give you a brief example of the market that I'm recommending right now. What was? Is, I'm sorry, my cell phone was breaking up in the middle of the drive. What was that again? Oh, okay. You I were didn't... looking for a, a investor's kit. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, great. So I, I wanted to make. Why? Hey, hold. No, I'm sorry. The guy just cuts me off right in the middle. It's unbelievable, these people. Are you outside right now? No, I'm in my car, but the freaking guy just cuts right in front of me like nothing. He doesn't use a blink or nothing. All right! Oh, jeez. <sighs> Road rage. These people are crazy. <laughs> You're in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fort Lauderdale, so we have all of your drivers there. Oh. All right. No, I'm not pulling off. The guy tell me to pull off. All right, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm not pulling over. You cut me off. You cut me off. You cut me... All right. Miss? Yes. Okay. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Um, Charlie, I wanted to go over some of these uh, figures. Okay. Roll down your window. I'm not rolling down a window. Roll down the window. This guy's a maniac. He's trying to let on my window. I'll kick your ass. Hello? Yeah. Roll down the window. Yeah, I'm not rolling down a window. You cut me off. Open I'm not door. rolling the window down. Open the door. Yeah, so uh, keep going, miss. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Are you yeah, the light's going to turn green. It'll be in a second. So what was that? Okay, well, I, I just wanted to go over some figures with you on this market. Wow, are you going to get in a fight or No, me? no, I'll be fine. I'll be Open fine. Open the door! Right. What are, what are you going to be home, Charlie? No, it's fine. Let's just get it. I'd rather get it done now. Okay. All right. Well, listen. My top recommendation, unleaded gasoline. Have you traded uh, commodities before? Hey, jerk off. Open the door. I'm not. Hold on a second. Wait, wait. I, uh, ow! 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 Get down! Hello? Yeah? No, who's this? Who's this? So Ralphie. Ralphie, where's Charlie? Charlie? Charlie just cut me off, so I had to kick his ass, and he's on the ground now. What is going on over there? Miss, you said something about uh, an investment opportunity? Get, yes, get I, down! I, I, oh. Ow! Ow! Because I'm trying to get investments myself. I just opened my own business. This is the most bizarre phone call I've been on all day. What is going on? This guy cuts me off, and then he starts yelling at me. People don't know how to drive around here. It's unbelievable. Okay, so now you're on Charlie's cell phone. You're out of his hand? Uh, yeah. He said something about investments. I figured I would get on the phone. That's the most bizarre thing I've ever heard all day. Okay. Well, what, what kind of investments do you handle? Uh, how, how, okay, uh, I'll, I'll call back. How about that? No, no, this is fine. I'm sorry? Well, no, this is fine. I got time. I mean, you know. Yeah, I, uh, I'll call back. Ow! Oh! Ow. Oh! Hello. Oh my God. For a real estate firm in Denver, Colorado. Right. I had some information that you might be thinking of coming out our way, and I wondered if you're hooked up with an agent that can take good care of you. No, I didn't actually. I was looking though. You are? Yeah. Well, um, I have a, a kind of a neat program. It's no cost or obligation, and I just like to uh, put you on my on my list. And if you ever have any questions or you need to know anything about Denver, I'm out here. I wanted to move to Denver actually. Oh, but you're not now? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little leery now. But you're leery of it now? Uh, only because uh, um, I had a couple of siblings on the Air Alaska flight. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so it's like I don't want to really... Um, you're afraid. I'm afraid to fly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. I mean, you, know, you weren't flying a plane. What a... Yeah, but what a coincidence. So you probably won't be coming out here. They didn't even find any parts yet. I'm hoping at least, you know... They could find, you know, an arm or something. Maybe I'll give you a call in six months or something? Yeah, six months, that should be enough, you know, um, I guess healing time. Yeah. 
I've been, my TV's been, my TV and cable have been out all day. I don't know if you've been watching the TV, because I know I've been doing the rescue stuff. Did, you, did they recover any pieces of stuff? Uh, oh, man. I any haven't. limbs or anything have you seen? No, I haven't. Because no. I'm not getting any word from the airlines and stuff. Wow. I'm just hoping maybe they can at least, you know, come up with something, maybe a piece of a thigh or something. You know, just to, you know, to, you know, we can bury at least that. Well, James, uh, I'll just kind of give you a shot in about six months. Okay. Hello? Yes, James? Yeah. Yeah, hi, James. My name is Robert. I'm with Communications. You were the people who um, basically were the lowest rates on the planet right now for long distance service. We're at four cents a minute nationwide right now. You can go with either a two level rep or you have two people in a down line. Or we have a, a you make 14% off your immediate customers. Or we have a seven level representative where you can have seven different levels in your down line. You'll make 8% off of your customers and you make up to 3% on the people down below you. So, as you can see, it's, it's either a question of whether or not you want to gather customers or gather people to gather customers. Simple. Now we um, basically we supply on our end. We supply you with all the paperwork you'll need, all the forms. You'll need. We supply you with uh, the, the pamphlets printed with your agent code on it. So let's say if you're just handing it out at the uh, at the mall, and someone takes it, uh, someone you know takes it home, your agent code, and for that you're good to go. What do you think at this point? recently, so I don't know about January. I just I went up finding out that I got cancer. Oh, gee, sir, I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. They just they said, you know, it's like Christmas or something. I might have to live. Oh, really? So I don't want to, you know. Oh, I can understand that. I don't want to put a payment on my family, you know, in January. Right. No, that's understandable. Right. Where are you? Are you in? Uh... I'm, in I'm with where, where you are. Oh, you guys are in New York, though. Yeah. Because no, I'm in New Jersey. Right. Yeah. I got that. You're in Cliffside. Yeah, um, are you looking to uh, purchase any stuff? Because I'm going to have to start selling some of my stuff, you know? Myself? No. <laughs> I mean, I got a, a Toyota Tercel I, I got to get rid of. I'm selling it cheap, you know, like 500 bucks. Really? Yeah. My, I guess, might as well start selling the stuff now. I got a computer. And well, I got your number right here. I'll just write it down in uh, your name and then we'll give you a call. Yeah, see if they, you know, I got, I got some pens and... Sure, no problem. And stuff, you know, if you want to... Great. Some CDs. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. But how about a blender? Do you need a blender or anything? No, no. I'm all I'm all clear on that. But uh, mm -hmm. I'll give you a call uh, sometime. Take care of it. Um, I got two toasters. Um, I'd have, actually have to go through everything. I'll talk to I'll talk to um, my roommate and then I'll give you a call sometime. Um, yeah, because I, I my, the next door neighbor wants to microwave, but I think I can hold that if you guys you don't need a microwave, I'll sell that cheap for like thirty bucks or something, you know. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for your time, man. And uh, I'll give you a call. Good uh, luck. What about a phone? Uh, I'm I'm all set there, man. You don't. Uh, cause I got two phones too, man. I'm not gonna get rid of. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a call. You can you can let me know then. I'm and, uh, I'll do. I gotta run here though. I gotta finish work, but uh, I'll give you a call sometime and. Uh, See what all you got available. See what I can do for you. Um, a computer desk. I mean, you know, I got a computer desk that you might want to. Uh, you know, I could take that apart and send it out there. You know. All right, I'll give you a call, man. Uh, I got other stuff too. Right. I got this one picture frame. It's really nice. It's got like this wood on the sides and stuff. So if you want to, you know, you can. You could probably just have that. You know, I'm not going to sell that. All right, great, man. I'll give you a call. All right. Um. I got this little TV too. All right, cool. All right, thanks, man. No, wait, but but 
um, and I got this this cutting board thing, you know, like to cut stuff. If you'd be interested in that too. Yeah, I'll tell you what though. I got a jet before I get in trouble. I'll give you a call and uh, you can, and, and I'll talk to you about that uh, then. Uh, when are you gonna call? Just so. Uh, uh, whenever I get a chance. So maybe uh, maybe sometime later this week. Yeah, could you could you call? Cause you know I I can look for somebody to talk to or something. You know. Sure, man. Um, I got a word processor too. Would you be interested in that? Uh, that that might be possible, man. Yeah, because that's uh, I mean like 15 bucks. I'll sell if I only use it like once or twice to write some papers on or something. All right, man. No problem. You know. I got a jet though. I'm gonna get in trouble here. I'll give you a call later in the week, man. Okay, I just I got a, one other um, a, a window fan too. All right, great, man. It's All cool. Right. It's a, like a white one. It fits right in the window too. Cool. All you right. know. Thanks. Um, and an air conditioner. All right, man. I'll give you a call. Yeah, I mean, I'll get rid of the air conditioner because I mean, it's going to winter or stuff, so you don't have to use it to the summer. Okay. All right, man. So I could, um, I could get you two of them, actually. All right, man. If you guys need, you know, if you need two. Oh, no, we're all good. All right, I got a jet, though. Bye. Um, Bye. and I got napkin. Hello? Hello, Mr. Florentine. Yeah. Yes, Dane from the States. Right. I think you saw us in the New Homes Guide. Are you familiar with our development, or uh, have you have you been through here at all? Um, yeah, I was up there before. I was looking at houses just okay. a while back, and then. Uh, uh, anyway, should I send you a package that has all our information and stuff like that? Um, I mean, I was looking into getting a house, but I just uh, uh, I wound up getting some bad news. I just wound up uh, finding out I have cancer and stuff. So. Oh my. Yes, yeah, so I only got like about you know a month or two left to live. Oh, you're kidding. That's what they say, yeah, so. Well, you know, they say that to a lot of people. Yeah, I know, so I'm just hoping, you know, that, um, you know, it's kind of weird. I don't really have too much family and stuff, so I'm looking, you know, yeah. trying to make some plans, but I don't really know what to do. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you would know any, like, some coffin salesman or something I can maybe call or something. Uh, well, not not particularly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm even thinking maybe getting cremated or something. I don't know if that's cheaper or something. You uh, know? Look, I don't know too much about that. Right. I'm actually going to need some, probably some pallbearers, too. I don't know if, uh, you know, you know people I wouldn't mind doing because I don't really have too many friends. Right. I, I weigh like 450 pounds, too, so it's like, you know, they're not just going to have one or two. They're going to need probably like right. six or eight guys. Yeah, well. You know. Yeah, okay. Let me ask you something. I was just checking today. Do you have a, I felt a lump right below my rib cage. Right. Do you have one like on the right side? Because I don't feel one on the left side. So I don't know if this is another... I don't know. Why don't you call the doctor? I'm just calling you about a house here. No, I know. I know you are and stuff. And, you know, I'm trying to get the doctor on the phone, right. but he well, seems... I don't know. To... you got somebody there you can talk to about that, don't you? No, actually, I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't have anybody here else. Could you just check, though? I'm just... Because it's, it's been bothering me. Like, I don't know. Like, I, it's on the well, right... I'm going to check out. I mean, well, you know... I'm gonna... No, not check me out. No, I'm saying if you... Could you just check to see if you have a lump? Maybe it's something that's normal that everyone has. No, I don't feel nothing. You don't feel that? Because I don't have one on the left side. I just have one on the right. So I'm wondering right. if that's another yeah, no, I don't feel piece nothing. of cancer. You don't feel nothing? Nah. You sure? Like right? Yeah, I'm positive. Oh, man. Okay. Well, look, if uh, you need some guys to help you know, put you in the ground there, I bet you I can probably help you out that way. Hello? Hello, man. It's Steve with James, quarantine. Yeah, this is him. I'm calling to offer you payment protection and optional insurance benefit if you're disabled. <laughs> Lose your job or take family leave. There's also a death benefit up to $10,000. To qualify for this valuable benefit, you just need to be under the age of 66. The cost of payment protection is just 97 cents a month per $100 daily balance. This premium will be automatically paid. Uh, sir? Yeah. Is this a bad time? I'm sorry, my, my dog died this morning. Would you like me to call back? No, 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 I need somebody to talk to. Just keep going, I'm sorry. Uh, this premium will be automatically billed to your account every month. If, however, you detect a within the first three years any premium charge will be refunded. And if at any time you feel this is not for you, you can cancel right over the phone. <laughs> to accept, all we need to start processing your enrollment your date of birth. <laughs> His name was Spot. Had him for seven years. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you what did you need? Um, to accept all we need to start processing your enrollment is your date of birth. One second. This car came and didn't even see him. <laughs> I'm sorry.
sorry to hear that. Yeah. Where are you? You're, you're in New Jersey, right? Uh, nope, Nebraska, Omaha. Nebraska? That was I was going to name my dog originally, Nebraska. That's so weird. I don't even know what to do. I am, I am upstairs in my living room. I don't know where to put them. Where do I bury them? <laughs> uh, I live on a farm, so I had plenty of places. Uh. Uh, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave him in the living room. I don't want him to leave. I don't want to bury him. Uh, okay, sir. You know, I, I don't, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> well, I won't get in trouble if I leave him in the living room, will I? I don't know. But do you think? I know. I know you can't do that with a a, a regular person, but. Um. <laughs> Can you go again? I'm sorry. Um, I'm calling to offer you payment protection and optional insurance benefits that can help protect your universal card credit rating. Spot, I love you. <laughs> if, however, you decide to cancel it, 30 days of coverage, any premium charge will be refunded. <laughs> Uh, Except all we need to start processing your enrollment is your date of birth. You know what, today was his birthday too, he would have been seven. <laughs> uh, would you like to think about this? Uh, can have somebody call you, call you back at another time? Hello? Don't desert me now, I need somebody. Can I help you? Uh, I just want to say you, I love your tanning salon. It's great, and you guys uh, do a great job over there. Thank you. Uh, I'm really sorry to do this and put you on a spot, but I, I, I need $15. So if you can lend it to me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, no, thanks. If I don't get the 15 bucks, I'm going to take a dump in one of your tanning beds. Can I help you? Yeah, it's Bobby again. Look, I'm going to take a dump in one of your tanning beds if you don't give me the money. Can I help you? Miss, you're being really rude. You keep hanging up on me. Bobby, I don't know what the problem is. Stop calling. You understand? Okay, 15 lousy dollars, and I won't drop a deuce in there. Go to hell. Can I help you? Ten bucks. Go to hell. You don't. You want to give me ten bucks? Yeah, as soon as I knock your ass out. Okay, so have fun cleaning up a turd tomorrow. Go to hell. Look, I don't know what you're making such a big deal about this for. It's 15 lousy dollars. Listen, stop calling here. Do you understand? I understand that, but I don't know why you just can't help me out. Where's if the you love? Want help, you need to go find a job. Thank you for calling. This is speaking. How may I help you? Hello, uh, yeah, this is Bobby. I want to make a reservation. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, listen, I'm part of, uh, I do uh, Yelp reviews. I got, it's part of uh, Yelp Elite Squad. Oh, okay. Help me out with the discount on the meal. Maybe you can give it to me for free. I usually give good reviews. Okay. Are we looking at one entree, two entrees? Um, how does that normally work? Well, I'm bringing a date, so I don't know if you know if she's gonna. She's probably gonna want dessert too. We'll get you taken care of, sir. That's not a problem. This is my first rodeo. You know what I mean? I I'm, I got 37 LinkedIn followers. I got a big following. You know, sure. So I really get the word out there. If I don't get treated right. Yeah, I understand. Well, listen, when I come in, is there, you know, because I'm going to come in with a date, can you, when I come in, can you say it's an honor to have you here, Mr. Fletcher, just to impress, you know, impress my date, I'm trying to get in their pants. Sure, sure, I, I, I understand. Yeah, you understand how that works, right? You know, she'll be like, I'm a big shot, and then, you know. Oh, of course, of course. It'll be easier, it'll be easier for me later on that night. I, I understand. So, it doesn't matter how many courses I get, dessert, all that other stuff, you'll throw in some booze, too? Uh, sir, I cannot do alcohol. Can I bring my own booze then? No, sir. You sure can. Look, nobody's gonna be looking. I got a, I got a little flask. I've been, sir, I bring at the I concerts cannot, all the time. I cannot authorize. We do not allow outside alcohol inside of our. Sir, you realize I'm part of the Yelp Elite Squad. You realize that. Sir, I, I understand that, but I, when it comes to doing the right thing, that's what's most important. Doing the right thing. And right now, I, I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. I'm the one who eradicated Long John Silver's. You, you remember that place? Uh, yes, I do remember Okay, that yeah, so I put them under because they were giving me a hard time. You know what I mean? And they didn't give them my way when I went in there. 
you are more than welcome to pay for alcohol, sir. I'm not saying that you cannot order alcohol. I'm telling you that we will not be providing alcohol for you. It is a very specific and clear instruction. You just dropped a star. You realize that. I provide a valuable service. You know what? Your services, honestly, are exploiting restaurants and taking advantage of people. Sir, I do. That's what I do. You, as a fellow Yelper, should know that you are not able to bring outside alcohol into a restaurant, but yet you're wanting me to jeopardize my, my license, my establishment, and my career for you to bring a date in. All right, we started off on a bad foot. Are you hiring at all? (laughs) <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, I just lost my job we, at this other we place. We are more than happy to give you an interview. Can we do the interview over the phone? No, just I for, do interviews I want... Monday, Monday through Thursday between two, 2 and 4. Those are my office hours. I play video games with my friends during those hours. Can I, we just do it over the phone? Just kind of feel each other out? I think I've, I've felt you out good enough. I'm a harder worker than anyone I know from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Nobody's better than me. Oh, that's wonderful. Because from 2 to 6 p.m., no one's a harder worker than I am. Hi, this is Can I help you? Uh, hi, this is Bobby. I was calling about um, signing up for your uh, dating service. I'm looking to meet someone. Okay, and how did you hear about us? Uh, some guy on the bus was... I overheard him talking. He had a red shirt. I don't know if that helps. Okay, and then how old are you? 34. Yeah, um, so basically we're a personal matchmaking service, so we don't use any sort of computers or gimmicks to do our matching. Yeah, that's good. I don't even own a computer. I'm, well, I'm not, I'm not allowed to have one, but anyway, so it does, that's, that's even better for me. Oh, you're not allowed to have one? Yeah, it's a long story. Okay. Um, and what is your marital Something status? Something with the feds. The, fe- the feds? Mm, okay. And are you divorced or widowed? Uh, yeah, I'm single. Never been married. Never been married? Okay. So, um, have you ever been convicted of a felony? Well, I don't know yet. There's a hearing, you know, in a couple of weeks or whatever. So, yeah, not at the moment. I'm not. So, my lawyer said I should get off. Right. Okay. And then, um, so what I'll do now is um, I'm going to pass information to our matchmaker. And what is your phone number so I can have them get in contact with you if we feel we have the type of women in your age range that you're looking to? Yeah, it's uh, 480 I mean, I change my number every couple of days, you know, because... Thanks for calling. I'm, I'm going to pass your information along to our matchmaker. So. But, so how do I do this, though? They're going to contact you. Well, okay, but what? Do, but you have you need to know stuff about me, though. Nope, you've, you've shared enough with me. That's all we need to know. I Look, I just had something with, like, you know, animal breeding or whatever, you know, and it was no big deal. I like horses and, you know... <laughs> Because I'm a really, I'm a really nice, polite guy. Yeah, but I'm going to let you go. I do have another call coming in. Um, thanks so much for your time, okay? This is How can I help you? Hi, this is Bobby. We just talked on the phone. I, I don't think it was me, but I can help you. Okay, yeah, I'm looking to um, get set up, uh, you know, for your dating service. I'm looking for someone really nice, special. No, so... Okay, so I, I, she sits next to me, so I heard her say to you that what we're going to do, the next step is to pass your information along to our matchmakers for review. Right, I know, but I didn't give her all the information. You gave her enough. No, but there was some other stuff. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, she was trying to make me out, out like I was a criminal. I was just trying to make a pony for my niece. It's illegal horse breeding is what I was doing. I don't need any of that information. Let's move on. I like church. I shave my chest. I mean, I have nice calf muscles. What? I don't know why that would be necessary information for me to know. I'm 6'2". I have rocket biceps. Okay, tell me a little bit more about what you're looking for. Yes. I don't care if they're fat. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, most guys don't like that. I got no problem with that at all. Why are you burping into the phone? Where else am I going to burp? Okay. What's the age range of women you're looking to meet? Um... 50 to 82. Oh, I don't have 50 to 82 year old women who want to meet men in their 30s. We wouldn't be able to help you. Well, do you have one that looks old? I'll, I'll no, take that. No, that's probably why I told you we have to check. I'll take whatever. Bobby, you need to stop calling here, okay? We're finished talking now. This isn't the service for you. You're wasting my time. I just want to find love. Can you blame me for that? We can't help you. <laughs> we cannot help you. I'm cute. Okay, so don't call back. I could burp real good. (laughs) 
Good afternoon, Community Living Concepts. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling about the ad in the paper. Okay. Can you fax your resume? <laughs> Uh, my fax machine is down. Okay, that's the only way we're taking the resume. Really? Yes, sir. Um, can I mail it to you? Uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me? I'm sorry? Excuse me? Did you say something? Uh, no. Oh, okay. But, um, I guess you can. The, the, the address is 4600 Peachtree Place Parkway. <laughs> what was that again? Peachtree Place Parkway, and that's Doraville. How do you spell that? D O R A. What was that? Uh, I can't. I can't hear you. You keep ducking in the phone. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I just had a soda. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't want to hear it either. I, I'm. I don't want to hear it either. But okay. you know, sometimes I can't hold it in. Okay. Just like my farts. Well. So it's wait. It's Peach Tree. Place Parkway. Okay. And that's Doraville. Right. And that's. How do you spell a doorbell again? D O R A D O R A V I L L E A V I L L E. Okay. And that's Georgia three oh three six oh. I got the first number, three. Oh three six oh. I'm sorry? Three oh three six oh. Okay. That's it. Um I need to let me have the number again. Forty six hundred. Four, you said? Four, six, zero, zero. Okay. And that's it. Um, so what, what kind of hours is it? Nine to five. And is it benefits? Uh, that's just up to whatever you have to offer. Um, yeah, I have a lot to offer. Well, they'd have whoever interviews you. Can I get your name? Bobby Fletcher. Okay. What were you saying about someone who interviews me? It's whoever interviews you. They'll let you know. They'll let you know at that time. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. They will let you know at that time. Excuse me. They will let you know at that time what right. they have to offer. Oh, I see. Um, now it's uh, so. There's benefits. I'm not sure. I would don't I do the interviewing, so I'm not sure. Would I, would I have my own desk? Uh, no, sir. No. Nope. Well, how would that work? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Earl's Quality Kirk here. Hi, I'm calling about the ad and the paper for the job. Okay. How much experience do you have? Um, about four or five years. Four or five years? Yeah. And, um... <laughs> Hello? What was that? Um, I belched. I'm sorry. In, into the phone? I didn't mean to. I just... <laughs> I just had a soda. Sorry. So, yeah, it's been about four or five years, actually. Okay. And I just moved into town, so I'm looking to, uh... Okay, know. and who have you worked for before? Um, I worked with Bill's Auto Detailing. Okay. That was out of Savannah. Okay, and so you're just moving into the area? <clears throat> yeah. I just got here about two weeks ago. Okay. Hold on, just a minute. <clears throat> okay. Is there all can I help you? Yeah, uh, I just talked to somebody about the job. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's your name? Bobby Fletcher. And uh, how much experience do you have? Uh, four or five years. <laughs> What's that noise? I don't know. Okay. So, yes, I moved from Savannah, and, um, you know, I'm just looking for, a, you know, some kind of work to hold me over, you know. <laughs> so you're looking for something short-term to get you by? No, well, I didn't know what you guys, if you guys were hiring part-time or full-time. No, we're looking for full-time. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, what else do I need to bring? I see you don't have to take SATs. I don't have to have an SAT. Is that what it says? No. You can come by and fill out an application and just have your previous work history. Okay. Okay. So you want to come by and fill out an application? Yeah, I need the directions to the place. I remember passing it by, but I was, you know, when I was driving the other night, but I was pretty drunk, so I don't remember exactly where it was. You were driving drunk? Well, yeah, I mean, I had to get home. I'm not interested in hiring you. Why is that? One, I'm not interested in hiring you. <laughs> Excuse uh, me? The drinks and drives. Well, you know, look, you know what happens. What are you going to do? You know? <laughs> I met some fat chick, and, you know, I'm sure you've had a couple of fat chicks before, right? You need to call another place. I'm not. This isn't going to work out. Well, why don't I just come in for an interview? We'll fill out an application. We'll see how where it goes from there. All right. You're welcome to do that. 
Um, um, what time are you around? I'm here from 8 to 6. 8 to 6? Yeah. It was nice talking to you, Earl. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hi, this is Bobby Fletcher. Who's this? This is Jenna. Hi, Jenna. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, listen, I um I met one of your sorority girls uh last weekend, and I forgot her name, and I'm trying to get her name so I can get in contact with her. Oh, exciting! Yeah, well, you know. What does she look like? Uh, she has got a cute nose, <laughs> brown hair, really big cans. <laughs> Um, really? Her name began with a J, too. This isn't you, is it? You sound familiar. No, this for sure isn't me. I didn't mean a Bobby Fletcher. Hold on one second. Hey, girl! Whose name starts with a J and has big boobs with brown hair in her house? <laughs> That's what I said, but Jack doesn't really have that big of boobs, does she? Yeah, maybe it's you. No, I said I don't think it was me. Um, Are you dirty in the sack, or she was really filthy? What is, what kind of body type did she have? It was hot. She had a uh, her stomach was like as flat as a twelve year old boy. Okay, that's for sure, Jackie. It was Jackie. Yeah. Do you want to leave your number, and I'll have her call you back. But she's got big cans, though. What? Are, well, maybe maybe she was just wearing an outfit that flattered her cans. No, but I mean, I I mean, I had a brow off and everything. Shut up! Who is this? So we hooked. She stayed over for the night. We hooked up. You are. So, is this? A f- yeah, I mean, I didn't get laid for like a month. It went off like a fire hose. I had to take a raft home. Hold on. Oh! And you spend the night. I mean, any house, sorority house is going to have a, a brown haired girl with big cans that'll spend the night somewhere. So you can just call and be like, her name starts with a T. No, I got the number and I lost it. And she told me it's sorority. So I got the number and I wanted to call, but I don't remember her name. I bet I bet you it's downtown Jackie Brown. Really? Yeah. Um, the only thing I can do, hon, because she's not here, is take down your number and have her call you back. I guess that would be good. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be fine. Uh, are you guys having another party or something like that? I'd love to bring my friends from the Jiffy Lube down, you know? Are we having another party? Are you gonna, guys going to have a party or something like that? Um, we're supposed to be a dry house. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just smoke pot then. <laughs> I'm actually trying to track it down because she was really cool. I mean, I definitely consider nailing her again, you know? Shut up! I'm serious. I mean, I didn't even know I was going to meet someone special at night. If I would have known, I would have put, like, Old Spice on my balls or something, you know? Um, stop. You're out of control. She had a peace sign shaved in her bush. Does that ring a bell? Oh, yeah, really? I'll go around and I'll check the girls' uh, bushes and see who has a peace sign shaved in their bush, and then I'll track her down. I mean, since we all shower together and everything. Well, I'm just looking for the girl that I hooked up with, you know. I just wish all the sorority girls were loose like her. Right, right. You well, know what I mean? That'd um, be nice. I'm I'm sure I'm sure maybe just hang out at Starbucks for the next couple of days and you'll run into her. If you don't tell me, I'm gonna have to do some DNA testing on my face. Bye bye. West in reference. This is Bobby Fletcher. Who is this? Um, this is reference. My name is Isabel. Hi, Isabel. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Good. I was at your library yesterday, and someone threw me out, and I'm very upset. I, I don't know what you mean you were thrown out. I was thrown out of the library. I was trying well, to for start... for what a... reason? I don't know. That's what I'm calling about. I wasn't doing anything. Well, sir, they had to tell you yesterday, and who was the person that asked you to leave? I'm not sure. They didn't give me a name. Well, was it a man or a woman? It was a man. And I wasn't doing anything. Well, we didn't have a man... Hello? Yeah. We didn't have a man on duty here last night, Mr. Fletcher. It wasn't last night. It was earlier in the day. I'm trying to do a paper. I had a big exam coming up. Well, I don't know who I was it was. In the middle and... of book, I was in the middle of reading a book on manners, and I got thrown out. <clears throat> you know, I don't understand why. Okay. Well, sir, if you'd like to come in and speak with our branch manager about that, but if, if <clears throat> you are asked to leave the library, yeah. there's um, the person would identify <clears throat> We don't randomly ask people to leave the library. There has well, to be some purpose for that. There wasn't. I don't know. I was. I was just. Okay. Acting. Well, sir, this is after the fact. You. I know, but I'm just. I was just acting like I'm acting right now. I wasn't doing anything. Okay. Well. Well, sir. <clears throat> you know. 
I was almost at the chapter on bodily functions. You know? And they threw me out. Sir, I suggest you come in and speak with somebody about that situation. What okay. is that going to do, though? Uh, I don't know. Perhaps we can find out. Uh, uh, what are the noises that I'm hearing? I don't know. It's not coming from my end. Okay, well, it certainly isn't coming from here. I thought you were doing it. So perhaps you need to come into the library and discuss that with our branch manager, Mr. Fletcher. That wasn't you burping? Sir, I'm going to terminate uh, the conversation. I saw a teenager photocopying his nutsack. No one kicked him out. North Shore, this is Kurt. Hi, Kurt. This is Bobby Fletcher. Up, uh, up. Uh, not much. I just want to know if I, I need to come in and record something. Yeah, we're we're kind of. Well, what do you have in mind to do? What do you... Let me ask you something. Could you uh, can you alter my voice and make it sound like a robot or put an echo in it or something like that? Um, yeah, we can do. You know, some special effects. Yeah, It'll put put some. Just make my voice sound like a robot, like it doesn't. You know, actually sound like my real voice. Yeah. You know, so it'll never know. It like a Halloween thing or something. No, no, no. So it's going to go, you know, something like this. Not exactly, but pretty much. If you ever want to see your wife again, put $10,000 in a shoebox and leave it at the bus station in the men's room. Just something simple like that. I see. That's cool? Uh, yeah. You think there's anything I should add to that or anything? I don't know what the what the bottom line purpose of the recording is. Well, it's just a track I'm working on, you know? Yeah. Called uh, Unmarked Bills. That's the working title right now. Um, could you just, re- just uh, read it the way I did it and just let me see how it sounds? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, if you ever want to see your wife again, deposit $50,000 in small bills underneath the bell tower at midnight. No, no. You're way off. It's put 10000 in a shoebox, leave it at the bus station in the men's room. Okay. If you ever want to see your wife again, Put ten thousand dollars in a shoebox and leave it in the men's room at the bus station. You got it. I like that at the end. You got it. I like that. <laughs> that really hammers it home. Perfect. So there's no way they could trace this back to me to CD or anything like that, right? Yeah, everything's traceable. The, the weird thing is, you know, what, uh, um, maybe I'm just overthinking this too much. But you know, what if some crook comes up to us and this this is a real a real life kidnapping and they needed somebody to do their ransom note and we print it here and. Off they go, and now we're involved. Take a risk. It's going to be all cash. What do you need, 500 No, it's, it's that. Uh, it's, just kind of, it's just kind of the strangest re- request we've had. Look, I got a lot of money coming in soon. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. You don't have any storage space or anything like that. For, for bodies? No, no. Well, I'm yeah, just it's kind of strange, uh, and you're talking about a lot of money coming in, and i got to store some stuff, and uh, they need this. You're not a cop, are you? No. Okay, cool. Listen, uh, is it if I bring my girlfriend with me? Originally, she wasn't coming, but I think now she is. I mean, last time I left her alone, she cut the ropes free, you know, so. I mean, literally speaking, this is the kidnap victim, and uh, you're going to give her up for 10 grand at the bus station. I mean, you don't know by now what's going on? <laughs> I'll just go bottom line. I don't want anything to do with it. All right, well, forget I said that then. How's that? Can't unbreak an egg. No, I know, but I really liked your reading, though. It's a man who knows how to take care of business. Making me party to your crime. Well, not necessarily. I just need you to do a voice. That's it. This is going to be fine if you stay cool. Uh... Hi, this is... Hi, this is uh, Bobby. Yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, I was. Um, I saw this bumper sticker that ma- got made up by your company. I was behind this car. Oh, great! And uh, I was, yeah. Well, I was pretty offended by it, actually. Well, good. It probably was uh, intended to be offensive. So, very good. Right now, if you want to yell at me, I'll call you back. You can yell at me all you want. No, I don't want to yell at you. I just want to see if I can get some made there too. Hey, I, I'm doing my best here, man. I got a busy day going on by myself, so. No, I, I'm busy too. I'm just asking, can we get that made, or uh, you know? Let me text you on there. Guys who make bumper stickers have shit for brains. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate that, Bobby. Look, I'm just trying to give you some business. Yeah, I mean, I'll make it. I don't care. 
give me a credit card. Let's go. All right, and then could you put a picture of a turd on it too? It doesn't bother me. Can you just read it back then, so we make sure it's it's right? Because I ordered a bumper sticker once and it was all messed up. Yeah, well, this is not a real order, so. How about guys who have bumper stickers have tiny dicks? Then that's not on you. Hey, look, I'm busy. I don't have time for stupid shit like this. It's not stupid. What's stupid? I'm trying to place an order. Yeah. What else? What else you got for me? What, you're not going to do any of these? You, before you said, it, good, you're offended. I like that you are, so. Yeah, I'm just busy right now, brother, so. But you're taking an order. This is, this is what you do. If you're going to do business, let's do some, do some business. Well, how much you charge? Buck a piece. I, I want to get a couple different ones. What's the second order? I love to sniff ass as much as I love selling bumper stickers. That would fit, right? So, you know, you're having fun with me, and, and that's fine. What are you wearing? What am I wearing? I'm getting ready to block your number, dude. I also want to get a, I'm a busy little bumper sticker man. Yeah, okay. Talk to you later, man. Thank you for calling Debt Management. This is Jennifer. How can I help you? Hi, this is Bobby. I was just calling about uh, maybe getting some uh, debt relief. Okay. Do you know who you owe and how much today that we could take a look at kind of what you got? Well, one of them is my bookie. I'm not sure his name. I think he's Billy Bats. Mm, yeah, I don't think he's really a creditor in the sense where we could send him money. Right? No, I mean, you, I know where I got the address where you could send it. Yeah, no, we wouldn't, we wouldn't do something like that. Okay, why well, owe Billy eleven grand? I took the under on the Chiefs last week. He's not a creditor. It's not on a credit card. Well, technically, he is though. What do you mean? Because I paid him on my credit card before. He's got he's got one of those squares on his iPhone, so he can run it. He's done it before with me. Okay. I've done it with a hooker before too, so they they have the square. So who's the credit card? It's Bank of America. Okay. There we go. So how you owe Bank of America nine thousand dollars that you're using with your bookie and the hooker, right? No, I'm. You could just like you could Venmo me five grand too, and I could take care of it. And then no, we don't do that. It's easy. I can help you get the app. I no, I don't need the app. I don't need it. Just listen. Just go to your app installer on your phone. If you go to your app installer on your phone, you could. Download it right there. It's I, easy. I think you got, I think you got a, a wrong idea of what debt management is. I have to be honest with you. I think you got a wrong idea. Maybe you're looking for a finance company or something like that. No, no. I mean, I could walk you through the process. No, I, I think you. I I don't need to be walked through the process. I get it's it. It's so simple. It really is. My nine-year-old kid downloaded it the other day. Here's my process. I can tell you, like right now, I can tell you if you got nine grand at Bank of America, it's going to cost you two hundred and thirty-eight dollars a month. Well, Venmo is a lot easier if you could just because I could I paid a babysitter this way. I love Venmo. That's awesome. But I think you're you're looking for a loan and some other kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Uh, look, I'm in, I'm in deep. I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. Listen, if you can mail me two grand cash and I'll let you have my old TV. It's a plasma. I don't need it. I got one. I have some hashish. I'm good. I could use this collateral. Nope. Why are you being difficult? I'm not. I'm just telling you the facts. So we don't need it. Let me help you download the Venmo app. I, I have it. You have it. Did you get the updated one? Because the updated one is really... I've actually just, got the it, State of the Union Venmo app. It just came out. Do you have it? Yes. Listen. I'm not even kidding. I'm a dead man if I don't get to square with my bookie by the end of the month. I'm begging you. I don't have money. That's not what this is about. Sir. You can work out a plan with him. I'll give you his number. No. You're my last hope. No, go to your bank. Are you hiring? <laughs> no, we're not. Oh, shit. Billy Bats is at my door right now. I got to run. Thank you. Bye-bye. Download that Venmo app. The f*** is you. Hi. I eat at your store three, four times a week at your place and recently um i failed the company drug test so you guys putting something in the pasta sauce what do you mean something you know like weed or uh, coke or something like that weed or coke in the pasta sauce no 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 my friend you you're very wrong with that maybe not watching the guys in the back but as soon as i finish my spaghetti i already want more you know which is weird because the food usually is horrible the food was horrible yeah it tasted like pot 
I don't know what you're just saying. I don't know. We, ne- we never heard that. I don't know who's doing it in the back. I'm just saying the stuff's good. I'd like to get a dish if I could come by and pick it up. I got some friends coming over. Nobody use drugs here. Look, I know, I know you got to say it over the phone, but can you just get me a, a plate of pasta to go? I'll come by and pick it up. You must have been drunk, my friend. Just hook me up with some spaghetti with marijuana sauce. You crazy. I'm not crazy. The ziti's not the only thing that was baked, okay? I am busy right now, okay, so. You broke my heart, Fredo. Thank you for calling. This is Nick. How may I help you? Hi, this is Bobby Fletcher. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm calling because I'm a producer of a new video series, and uh, we donate all the money to charity, and we're just looking for a couple ladies down there to maybe help us out with it. Uh, what you'd need to do would be to speak with our executive director, and she's not in today. Okay. Uh, She'll be in tomorrow. That's fine. I just want to run a couple ideas past you to see if uh, this is good. It's, it's it's a series called Old Girls Gone Wild. Uh-huh. Um, you know, what, you know, the ladies just get, we film them getting a little crazy on camera. It don't sound like something we'd be interested in. No, no, we work with a bunch of them. We work with you guys on it last year. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was uh, called Old and Wet Volume 2. And they just, you know, they, you could just take their tops off and stuff. You know, we could throw them 50 or 100 bucks. Well, do you realize this is a retirement home? I, exactly. I mean, we've done, this is our fourth, uh, Volume 4 we're putting out, actually. We've yeah, done it before. Yeah, I don't recall ever having them done do that last no well they didn't do it there no we bring them to a a location yeah you know so we've been doing this for a while and all the money goes to charity so Mm -hmm. it's for a good cause you know if they feel a little uncomfortable you know we can you know put some bingo chips on the areolas or whatever Mm -hmm. look if they want to get their teeth out you pull their teeth out they go nuts on each other that's fine too I can't think of anybody, no. And we've done a whole series. I don't know, you probably heard of uh, Seniors in Spunk, Volume 5. We did that one last year. No, I've never heard of it before. Well, what we need the ladies to do is just, you know, they can hold their breasts up in the picture because we can't have them hanging down like slinkies. You know, we'll throw them some, bun- you know, it might be good, you know what I mean? It might be something to be good before Okay, you know, I'll let her on. know and have her return your call. I might as well make a few bucks. It's not like they can embarrass themselves, you know? Okay. They're probably going to be dead by the time the video comes out because it takes like nine months. Jane? Yeah. So I'm giving you a call for a credit counselor. Uh, hello? For deck control. Hello? Yeah. Hey, dude, you still on the phone? Yeah. All right, because uh, i got to call my brother and find out if he had a good new year. Yeah, I'm still on the phone. Okay. Hello? All right, do you have a few moments? Or? Yeah, I have a few moments, yeah. Yo, you still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Deck consolidation is a program. Yo, you still on, dude? Yeah. You on the phone? Yeah. Okay. It was developed to help consumers pay their debt. You still on the phone, bro? Yeah. All right. Well, if you want, I can give you a call back. No, this is fine, actually. i got to run out to work a little bit, so I'd rather get this over with now. It was what? Developed what? Debt consolidation is a program. Yo, you still on? Yeah. Okay. All right. Debt consolidation is a program. Right. Oh, you still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Debt consolidation was what? Is a program. It was developed. Yeah, you still on the phone, dude? Yeah. All right. Could you bear with me for a moment? I'd like to get this done now. I mean. Okay. All right, Dad, consolidation is a program. Are right, you still on the phone? Yeah. All right. Okay. Is a program. Is a program developed by the bank. You still talking on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, let's try it again. Dad, consolidation is a program. Right. Hello? Yeah. Yo, you saw on? Yeah. Dead consolidation is a program? Right. Okay. It was developed by the banking industry. It's developed. Right, still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Who's that guy that keeps picking up the phone? It's my roommate. You know, we only have one phone in the house. Oh, okay. We don't pick up too many times, sir. So. I can give you a call back later. No, this is fine, because i got to go to work in a little bit. Because he's picking up every three seconds. Well, no, he seems like he's, he's not picking up right now, so maybe we can get through this. That consolidation is a program. Yo, you still on? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a call later. Sir. Sure. Communication? Hi, I'm interested in a cell phone. Yes, hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm just I'm interested in buying a cell phone. Okay. I want some information. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just in the middle of giving my grandfather a bath. Hold on, please. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello? Yes, how are you doing, sir? Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, you're from Staten Island? Yeah, I'm from Staten Island. Okay. It's... I'm sorry, I'm just in the middle of giving my grandfather a bath. It's, it's chaotic no, no, here. No, no problem. No, oh, it's no problem. problem. Just shut up already, all right? 
Uh, I, yeah, I just need directions from Staten Island. Okay. Look, you take, you take right, look, if you don't shut up, I'm going to drown. You want me to stick your head under the water? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Shut up already. All right, keep going. So what is it, sir? It's, uh, you go to, you take out the BQE. BQE. To the Prospect Expressway. Prospect Expressway. You get off exit four. Exit four. Yeah. Uh, when you go up the ramp, it's, uh, you're going to make a right on the stop sign. Uh-oh. Grandpa? One second, sir. No problem. Grandpa, are you all right? Oh, man. I think I had him under the water too long. Oh, man. Grandpa! Grandpa! <sighs> what should I do? Call up 911, I guess. That's, that'll be the best thing I wrote on that. He's not breathing, though. I don't know what... But I don't want to call... I, it was my fault, though. I just wanted to get the information from you, the directions. What do I do? I've never been in a situation like this before. He's not breathing. So it's just me. Uh, He's I'm turning blue. Him. Give him out the mouth. Yeah, but that's that's like kissing a guy, though. I don't... I don't know. Oh, that. Man. It's grandpa, Grandpa, wake up. Grandpa, please. Please. Okay, all right, real quick, sir. So what are the plans on the cell phone, like the Verizon? 3,500, nights and weekends. Um, oh, my God. He's, he, there's no pulse whatsoever. Oh, man. All right, so how, would I have to buy the phone, too, first? This thing on, on the things that's free phone. Bro, Grandpa, so. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I get, what am I going to do? Do I call the cops? That's what I would do. Call the cops, ambulance, emergency. Uh, so, all right, okay, fine. Let me just, I'll do that in one second. I just want to make sure I get this information. So if I okay. come in there, I can get the phone and the plan the same day? Could you turn yeah. it on within an hour? Yeah. All right, listen, could you do me one favor? What's your name? Tom. Tom, if if I come in and buy the phone from you because I know you need a commission, could you not tell anyone about this? Not a problem. You sure? Not a problem. You know, I could say he slipped, but I don't know. Believe me, my mouth is shut. So do your mouth is If If I promise, I'll get the phone from you. Don't worry about it. Just try you'll, to get him some help right so now. So you'll scratch my back. There you go. Okay. All, All right. right. I, I, I got to call 911. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Amanar? Yeah, this is Bobby Fletcher. Uh-huh. Who am I speaking with? You're speaking to Peggy. Peggy, hi. I just bought a soda at your store about an hour ago. I think there was something wrong with it. What kind was it? Uh, it was a grape soda. The expiration date must have been, um, it was expired like by three months. I don't mean to be rude, but I, I can't stop burping ever since I bought the soda. Well, uh, I don't know what to do. I got to go to work in an hour. This isn't funny. The owner will be down here in a minute. I don't know if I can come to the store if I keep burping. I don't want to, you know, scare away the other customers, but I can't uh -huh. stop. They just keep coming. It's like Tourette's. Uh-huh. You hear this? I mean, uh, yeah. I got to go to work in an hour. I do customer service. I can't be doing this. Well, I don't know. I'm not the owner here. I'm just here for him. But he'll be here. He'll be here at about 10 after 5. I can't wait that long. I might throw up. Uh, Is there anything you could do? No, I, I'm not. In a, I don't have any any say so about that. I never even know how to do. I didn't even burp before ever in my life. Well, you all of a sudden, that, I drink this soda. Well, I, I don't. Stop. Yeah, all I can tell you, just wait till he come. I'll, I'll give you. He'll be here about five after five. I can't wait till five. Miss, this hurts. It hurts my belly. I can't tell you. You'll have to just. <laughs> What am I going to do? I got a date after work tonight, too. Okay, I don't know what to tell you, really. I don't. Miss, you got to help. Well, you just call him back in about 15 minutes. I can't. Well, if you're that bad, you need to go to the doctor, okay? I don't know. Where's the doctor? Uh, where are you from? I live right down Main Street. I don't know. Uh, I'm I, really scared, miss. I don't know. But uh, you just call back because I don't know what to do about it. Miss, I'm going to pass out. Well, you... If you <laughs> well, I'm sorry, because I don't know what to do. I'm just up here for him, for him to go somewhere. He'll be back. Okay? Doctor's office. Hi, this is Bobby. I was calling to make an appointment. Is it your first time here? Well, I came in once to use the bathroom. No, I'm saying, like, have you been here to be oh. a patient? No, no, no. Okay, um, what kind of injury you have? I have this weird impediment. It's a belching impediment. Okay, is it a work-related or a car accident? 
neither. It's not an injury. I just, you know, I, I can't stop belching here and there. So I'm thinking the acupuncture. I read about it on the online. Okay, yeah, because acupuncture is normally um, no fault or work has come. But since you don't have either, um, it would have to be cash. Yeah, that's fine. I just got something going on in my throat. Okay. <laughs> has anybody ever called in with this problem, though? Not, no. No. <laughs> So you never heard of it before? No. I'm in a play tomorrow, so I wanted to see if it could, you know, the acupuncture can maybe help it out. Do you had a play tomorrow, you said? A play. Okay. For kids. All right, I'll have him call you back. The price. What'd you say? I said I'll have him call you back, okay? Okay, if I come in, though, can I sit in a separate room? I don't want to, you know, would it be a problem, you think, if I'm in the waiting room? I, I'm not sure, because I wouldn't... I haven't have anybody with that. No? Would it bother you, no. though? I mean, yeah. Sorry. If I could help it, I would. Okay. I haven't had a girlfriend in three years since it started happening. All right. Okay. Well, I got this play tomorrow that I got to, you know, I'm in front of these kids. The what play? Oh, you know that Macbeth one? No, I don't, sir. Okay, can I... Practice the lines on you because I'm trying to memorize it so I don't read off a card. Hello, I'm listening. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Okay. Creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all of our yesterdays have lighted fools. The way to dusty death. <laughs> Hi, this is Bobby. I want to get a delivery, please. Can I have your phone number, please? Yeah, it's a 718 mm -hmm. 1382. Okay, what do you need, sir? Yeah, I wanted to get a, a, a pizza. Just a large pie? Yeah. Okay, anything else? Yeah, uh, chicken parm. Okay, 2809, 45 minutes. All right, listen, whoever's going to uh, deliver it, uh, I need them to do me a favor if they could pick up my grandmother right at the police station on the way. They're not going to do that, sir. I'm sorry. Why? It's right. It's right there. Okay, but my 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 own, the owner will not allow that. My grandma is really nice. I understand, but they will not allow it. She's all I have. Okay, well you're going to have to call a cab because they will not allow it. So she doesn't have any ID on her, like, and she doesn't have any money to get the cab. Well, so sir, I just need you guys to. They, they will not do I'll that. I'll give the guy an extra few bucks. <laughs> They're not going to do it. But what else are the delivery guys doing right now? Okay, sir, all the drivers are out, but you're asking me to, to have the driver stop at the police station to pick up your grandmother. She's waiting right out front. Okay, sir. She's right out front. She just got released. They're not going to do that. So if you called here just for that, to get a delivery, they're not no, going I'm to do not. it. No, I'm not. I'm calling about food. I'm hungry. She, I mean, she's really sweet. Okay, well, I'm sorry, sir, but they're not going to do it. She likes to hug. Okay, sir, I'm very busy right now. So I'm busy, too. Do you want the order or you don't want the delivery? No, I do want the order. She's not, Look, she's not a criminal. Nothing's been proven. <laughs> okay, sir, I, I have... What do you have against sweet old ladies? I feel like you're being... Re <laughs> disrespectful to my grandmother okay so i'm gonna i'm not even gonna take your food order because this is ridiculous can you put your boss on the phone sure hello 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 yeah hello yeah i want to get a delivery please yeah i know that but but we're not allowed to pick up any passengers okay well just pick my grandmother up then forget the food we cannot do that well you could just i'm only two blocks away could you just walk her over uh, no 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 we cannot do that okay why you don't have a car uh, no we have the car but we don't have the policy Okay, because if anything happens, you can sue us, okay? No, but I won't. I promise. No, I don't care. I don't care if you promise to Donald Trump if you want. I promise to Donald Trump I won't sue you. All right, so give her the order, and we'll deliver the order, and that's it. I did. I already gave her the order. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's it. Hold on. Sir? Yeah. Okay, you want a large pie and a chicken palm here or anything else? Yeah, forget my grandmother. Can you get my aunt from the grocery store then? Okay, sir. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not delivering your food. Call somewhere else. Have a great day. How can I help you? Hi, this is Bobby Fletcher. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Dorothy. Oh, Dorothy. Listen, I, so I, I had some tea at your place before, and I had a reaction mm -hmm. to it, a weird reaction. Like an allergic reaction? Well, yeah, I guess you can call it that. Did you want to maybe talk to the owners about it? 
No, I was going to talk to you. I, I'm, I don't know what to do. I, I can't stop burping. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. Give me a second. <laughs> you see what I mean? I think I had the milk tea or something. What should I do? Hi, this is the manager. How can I help you? Hi, this is Bobby. Who am I speaking with? My name is Becca. Hi, Becca. Yeah, I was telling your other employee that I had some uh, some of your tea there, and I had a weird reaction to it. What reaction were you having? A burping. Burping. Huh. Um, are you allergic to anything? No. That's so strange. Um, <sighs> nothing in I our know. tea I mean, is got... would generally cause you to burp. Nothing's carbonated. May I ask what drink you got? It was the. I think it was the milk tea. Gotcha. Um, and I got a, I got a, I got a telemarketing job, and I got to try to make sales. And I, it, every like 15, 20 seconds, it comes up. Well, I'm so sorry about that, sir. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that would cause that. There's no ingredients that we use that would cause excess like no. gas in your stomach or anything. Yeah, I mean, because it's coming out both ends too, the hot air. Oh. Yeah. That's never fun. No, um, and I, get, I got a date in an hour. Ooh. That's... Well, congratulations on your date. Yeah, I mean... Um, but... Is there anything else I could do to help you? Because you said you're not allergic to anything, so nothing in our drinks would cause excessive burping. I just don't know. You know, I got the tea from there, and then all of a sudden this started, and I got to go back to my job in a little bit on my lunch hour. Yeah, I sell steaks. Um... You know, it's just tough. I, I, it just happened yeah. right before lunch, and mm-hmm. right when I'm ready to close the sale, I, I let out a burp, and they hang up on me. Oh, it's killing me. I got to reach my quota for the day. I'm so sorry about that. Um, uh, can I give you a refund? Actually, if you just buy some steaks, that would be that would help me out. I'm so sorry, sir. I don't eat red meat. Well, you can give it to somebody else. No one that I know eats red meat. I'm in a very vegan community, unfortunately. Well, I mean, it's it's grass fed. <laughs> well, I also sell knives. You sell knives, a knife set with it. So, you know what I mean? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lose a lot of sales today because of this. Right. I'm so sorry, sir. The only thing that I can offer you is a refund. Yeah, I know, but you don't understand. If I don't make quota today, I'm canned. I sell I sell Tupperware too on the side. <laughs> Um, I'm sure there's something online that says how to figure out how to end excessive burping. No, I, I looked it up. I wrote, I put in excessive burping, how to end it, and nothing popped up. I understand that this happened in our business, but we can't control necessarily people's reactions. Oh, wait, I'm looking up the excessive burp, and it says if someone buys a steak, it goes away. Very funny. No, I'm serious. Look, I, I got a 30-piece set of Tupperware 2 to love. They're great to put, like, vegan Un- crap in it. Unfortunately, sir, this is a business, so we can't take personal sales at the moment. Uh, I sell CDs, too. You like Blues Travelers? No, thank you, sir. I hope that everything clears up for you and you have a great rest of your day. Can you ask your customers if they, if they want any steak? No, I cannot, sir. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. I think these are vegan burps. I'll... Hello, this is Rachel. Hi, this is uh, Bobby Fletcher. Who am I speaking with? My name is Rachel. How can I help you, sir? Hi, Rachel. Yeah, I was wondering if you guys have any rooms. We definitely have rooms. Yeah, let me try to see the reservations. I can help well, you out. Well, can I talk to you about it? Uh, yes, sir. What can I answer for you? Well, I was just wondering if I could just use the room for a little while. Oh, uh, we don't use uh, like hourly rates. It's only daily. No, it, well, it won't even be. An, I'm just looking to take a nap, a quick nap, because I'm getting my car done down the street, and they said it's going to be a few hours. Okay. Well, you would have to book a room for the night. We wouldn't be able to do it by the hour. No, well, it's not even. I just need like 45 minutes. I don't even need it in an hour. Just wonder if I could just open one of the rooms. I'm sorry, sir. We we couldn't even do it by the minutes. Yeah, you would just have to do a, a regular reservation for the night. I just want to take a quick power nap. You would have to book a room for the night, sir. Well, how much would that be? I'm not going to... Our rates start at 250 Yeah, see, I'm not going to touch anything. You know what I mean? I'm just going to be like a... F- well, we're not really a hotel for naps. We're a hotel for, for full night stay. No, I understand that. I'm just... It's... I, I got to wait five hours for my car to get fixed. So I'm just... You know, we just want to get a quick nap in. I'm sorry, sir. You, you're welcome to come, but you would have to pay for a full night. 
but can I use a room that you haven't cleaned yet? No, sir. You know, like I'll just no. I'll just use a little corner of the bed. It's not going to be a problem. No, that's not. It doesn't really have to be one of the clean rooms. We would not check you into a dirty room, sir. Yeah, I'm not going to check in. I just wanted you to go crash for a little bit. No, sir. That's completely against every security policy we have at the hotel. What security? I mean, do you have any couches in the lobby then maybe? You know what, sir? I'm going to hang up now because I don't think this is going anywhere. All right. Have a great day. No, it is. Why do you hate naps? Calling back. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. Hi, Rachel. This is Bobby again. Hello, sir. Yeah, I was just wondering, is there any rooms that are still dirty that maybe I could just take a quick nap in? Sir, are you not listening to me at all? No, I was listening to you. Do you not hear what I'm saying? Yeah, I was. I, I did listen. I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, well, then you know but that I, that's not going to happen. They can clean around me. No, sir. No, absolutely not. I would like you to please stop calling us, okay? Look, I'm just going to come there and sleep in the lobby then. All right, please stop calling the hotel. Would you be able to sing some lullabies to me to put me to sleep? No, sir. No, I'm going to have to block your number from the hotel. Please stop calling us. I used to be a gold member there before I lost my job. <laughs> Control. Oh, hi, this is Ed. Ow. Uh, who's this? Uh, this is Doral Rogers. Hi, ow. Um, I got bees all over on uh, my backyard by my tree. That's a fact, huh? Ow, they keep kissing me with their butts. Ow. Yay. Ow. Yay. I love bees. Ow. What should I do, lady? Where do you live? In a house. Ow. What should I do? Well, either call a beekeeper or destroy them. They're flying in my mouth. Oh, I just swallowed a bee. Yay. Ow. What should I do, lady? Uh, I, I, think, I think I'd move. They just stung my pee-pee. Ow. Yay. I got a big pee-pee. Ow. Well, uh, to give me an address for me to come out there and help you. Ow. Uh, Why do they keep stinging me? I thought they were my friends. No, they're not anybody's friends. Yay! I love bees! Ow! Oh, man, they're buzzing around in my tummy. Should I feed them? Yeah, I'd feed them. Do they like chicken? Uh, no, I think I'd go, uh, go pick some flowers. So I gotta eat the flowers? Yeah, if they're, if they're after you, I'd, I'd put flowers all over you, and they'll leave you alone. But I want to feed the ones that are in my tummy. Oh, you, you're just going to have to crap them out. So the bees are going to come out of my butt? That'd be my guess. Yay! Bees! They're going to come out of my butt. Okay, I'm putting flowers in my butt now. What should I do? Ow! Yay! I love bees! Ow! <laughs> Movies galore can help you. Hi, who's this? Belinda. Hi, Belinda. This is Ed. Well, hi, Ed. So you got Airbud? The video? Yeah. I've got Airbud, yeah. Yay! I love Airbud. Yay! I want to come down there and get it. Okay. Um, okay. Do you, do you have The Shining? We do. Uh, I'm scared. You know... Can you can you take it out of the store before I get there? I sure can. Uh, all work and no play makes Ed a dull boy. Oh. Uh, laceps, 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 laceps. Okay. Yay! 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 All right. Well, Ed, I've got some other customers here that I really need to help. Ed isn't here, mister. Okay. Ed isn't here, mister. Ed isn't here, mister. Okay, I've got to go now. Red rum. That's what my mom drinks. Editorial. Hi, is this... Yeah. This is Ed. Ed? Is this Scientific American? Yes, it is. Yeah, I made a volcano. Yay! 
What about it? Yeah, I made a volcano with baking soda. Will you publish my findings? What? Will you publish my findings? No. Why? Editorial. Hi, is this Yes, it is. My name is Bobby Fletcher. Um, You've talked to my uh, cousin Ed before. He called about a volcano. Yes, sir. And uh, I think you were pretty rude to him because he's pretty upset about it. I don't know what happened. Uh, he was yelling into the phone. Did you say something mean to him? No, sir. This is a highly complex scientific magazine. A volcano with baking soda is is a very simple high school project. It's not a simple high school project. I mean, I just did one last week myself. I'm out of high school. He added vinegar to it. I mean, it was a lot more Sir, complex. What? This is a relatively elementary type of type of science project. So you're telling me this just couldn't be in your magazine? No, of course not. It's a bunch of nerds that read your magazine anyway. Sir, perhaps you can try something else, but no, our magazine is simply not interested. I don't understand the problem. We do we do articles on quantum physics and high school high school level experiments. I'm sorry, this is a high school level experiment. It maybe in your high school it was. Sir, no. I'm what, sorry. We, what you don't you don't understand how it looks. I mean, just tell them you will. You know, humor them. <sighs> Why don't you take a look at the volcano first? No, sir, please. You got to see how he it's built not it. Not going to happen. You hurt the kid's feelings. You I, know what I mean? I I'm sorry, but I can't help that. Can I just put him on the phone and could you just tell no, him that please this, this don't isn't your do kind that. of magazine to do that? Please don't do that. Let me no, just, sir, he's right here. Please. Just just pretend to like it, okay? Sir, the don't kid's do all that. upset. Don't do that. Please. He's all upset. Sir, here he is. Sir? Hello? Hi, Ed. You didn't like my volcano. I haven't even seen your volcano, Ed. But you said you wouldn't put it in your magazine. Why? I think it's very nice, and I think maybe your hometown newspaper really should publish it. No, I work really, really hard on it. Why won't you at least look at it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ed. It's really not my business to do this. It's the best thing I ever made. Yes, Ed. I'm, I'm hearing you. I thought I finally did something like a big boy. I'll see what I can do, Ed. You ever taste lava? Not really, Ed. The lava tastes like sour, too. Can you put that in the magazine? It's simply, it's simply not acceptable for our magazine, all right? I got mail! Yay! I got mail! Yay! Okay. You've Yay. got mail. I got mail! You've got mail. I got mail! You, you got, got mail. mail? Oh, yes, but I don't go through Microsoft. No? I mean, uh, not Microsoft, but AOL. Yay! Why don't you go through Microsoft? No, I don't go through AOL. Why not? Because... I have higher standards. Does that mean I got lower standards because I use... I got mail? I got mail. Yay! Yay! I got mail. 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 Yay! Did you hear me that I got mail? Yes, you got mail. I do. That's great. And I'm almost out of breath. Do you got mail? Yep. Well, so you do got I. Mail. I got mail. Anything else? Yes. Yes. I got mail. Uh huh. Yay. And then. And then. Yay. You got then? mail. You've got mail. I 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 got mail. Yay! You've got mail. You've got mail. You go, sir. What? I'm out of breath. You go. No way.
That's too much for me. No, none. <laughs> I got mail. Sure. Yay. Okay. There's nothing that I can do for you then. Yes, there is. What's that? I got mail. Okay. All right. You have All a right. good day. And just you remember too. something, sir. Yeah. I got mail. Yay. Yeah, got mail. Okay. Yay. Talk I got mail. Later. Yay. All right. Yay. Bye. I got mail. Yay. <laughs> This is Jimmy. Is this the record store? This is the record store, yes. Yeah, I want to hear that song. What song? Ba boom bo boo boo bo yeah yeah. Now what song is that? Hey, it's that song. You got it? I like that song. Yay! I'm just trying to know what song you're talking about. Echo ba boo bo boo uh Ba boo 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 uh yeah. I, wa I want to buy the record. You know the name of the artist? Yay! Yay! Boop, 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 uh, yay! Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, I'm sorry. It's a I song! It goes boop, 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 uh, yay! You hear, the, you hear it on the radio? I can dance! Boop, 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 uh! Uh, do you know, what kind of song is that? A rock song, or a rap song, or a country just, song? Yeah, it goes boop, 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 uh, yay! Boop, 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 uh, but I'm not sure what, what kind of song it is. You sing it with of, me, and then you'll know. Boop, 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 uh. Boop, 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 uh, yeah, okay. No, no, it. no. Boop, 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 uh, yay. Boop, 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 yeah. No, no. No. Boop, 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 uh, yay. I'm, I'm just not sure what it is. If hey, lady, can't... lady, sing it with me. Boop, 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 uh, yay. Boop, 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 yeah. No. Boop, 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 uh, yay. Get it right, lady. Go. Boop, 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 yeah. No. Boop, 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 uh, yay! You go, lady! Boop, 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 yeah! No! Boop, 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 uh, yay! I'm just not sure what that is. You go! You do it after me! Boop, 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 uh, yay! Boop, 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 yeah! No! Lady, listen to me! Lady? Boop, 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 uh, yay! Boop, 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 Wait, say it one more time. Boop, 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 uh, yay. Boop, 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 uh, yeah. No, lady, listen. Lady? Boop, 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 uh, yay. I'm just not sure what that is. I'm, I'm awfully sorry. Lady, if you repeat it after lady. me, then you'll know what song it is, okay? Okay. Do it, do it now. You go. Boop, 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 boop ooh, yeah. Yay, that's it, yay. Okay. That's great. Now give me the record. I don't know what it is. Give me the record, Jimmy. Well, yay. I just don't know what it is. I'm awfully sorry, but uh, Okay. Well you have a good day. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, well, you yay. have a good evening, sir. You do it one more time, lady. Do it one more time. Boop 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 ooh, yeah. Yay. Okay. Yay. Well, you have a good night. Yay, okay. that's great, yay. Boop 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 uh Yay! Boop boop uh Yay! Boop 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 uh Yay! Boop 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 uh Yay! Boop 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 uh Yay! Hi, this is Ed. Who's this? This is Do you have reindeers? Do we have reindeers? Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? Because <laughs> I love reindeers. Yay! Yeah. Frosty the reindeer is my favorite. All right. Yeah, I want to be friends with Frosty. Oh, uh -huh. You think he would like me? Sure. Yay! Me and Frosty are going to be friends. All right. That's great news. How high do the reindeers fly that you have there? I've never seen any of them flying. Yeah, how do you think they get the presents to people's houses? Well, it takes a lot of imagination. <laughs> yeah, Frosty's going to fly me to Grandma's house. Oh, that's nice of you to remember Grandma. Yeah, I got her some teeth. Oh. Yeah, and some uh, diapers. What's she doing in diapers? Because uh, she wets the bed. Oh. Yeah, and she poops the bed. She can't control it. But I told my mom, I want to do that, too. And she said, no, you're too old for that. I said, but Grandma's <laughs> older than me. Why can't I poop and pee to bed? Right. <laughs> In the wintertime, I make duty snowballs and I throw them at people. Oh, my. That's not very nice. 
No, it's fun. It, it poop gets all over everyone. Yay! That's terrible. No, it's fun. Everybody laughs. Except the one that got hit. Frosty has magic poop. Oh, my. It flies like a thousand and then thousands of miles. I'll be darned. Does Frosty eat poop like a doggy does? Yeah. Yay! Frosty eats poop. I got somebody knocking at the door. I've got to go. Yay! Frosty eats poop. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Hi, Sam. This is Ed. I'm going to be an astronaut. Yay! Oh, well, that's great. Where do I sign up? Well, we can sign you up for space camp here. Oh, yeah? All right. Can you pick me up? I can't pick you up, but I can send you out some information on space camp. Okay. I want to go to the moon. Yay! I'm okay. going to be an astronaut. What's your address? Uh, yeah. I got a blue house. It's the one right next to the other house. And there's a, a mailbox. There's a, a lawn. Okay, and there's a tree. What's your mailing address? And there's a dog. No, and the dog is pooping. He's pooping. Yeah, right now. Yay! Look at that poop. There's a bird flying around. Can you send it there? No, it wouldn't get there. The postmaster wouldn't deliver. Well, can you just see with the bird and the dog? Okay, but I would need your street address. Yeah, but the moon doesn't. That's where I want to go. Yay! I'm going to go to the moon. Well, congratulations, okay? Yay! But hey, I have Sam, to go, okay? But you got to send me the information. But you have to give me your mailing address. It's not just going to deliver to a blue house with a mailbox. Can you send it in the shuttle? They don't have a bathroom in the shuttle. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They don't? You have to sit there and pee and poop in your pants. Yay! Hey, Sand. <laughs> yes? We have a problem. What is the problem? Poop floats in space. Do you want to see it? No, I don't want to see it. Why not? <laughs> that is so gross. Does that shuttle have snacks and snippy drinks on it? Hey, Ed. Hey, Did what? you ever watch this TV show called Frank Yankers? I don't like that show because they just say the same thing over and over and over and over and over okay. and over and over. And over. Okay, well, Ed, thank you for calling. And okay, over, I gotta go. Bye bye. And over and over and over and over again. Thanks for calling A1 Travel. It's Jim. I want to go to Hawaii. Yay! Yay! I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yay. I do. T I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Hawaii. Yay! Yay! When, you, when do you want to go? I want to go to Hawaii! Yay! 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 I want to go to Hawaii! Okay, there's, if you walk out the door, there's, there's probably someone going to pick you up pretty quick. Good! I want to go to Hawaii! <laughs> Yay! Yay! I want to go to Hawaii! When do you want to go? I want to go to Hawaii! Yay! Yay! Okay. It's going to be great! I want to go to Hawaii! Great! You can pick your time anytime you want to go. I want to go to Hawaii! I want to go to Hawaii. Yay! All Yay! Right. Okay. Is, is that all you got to say? Yay! Yay! Okay. Well, pick out your dates and we'll get you there. I want to go to Hawaii. Give me a call back. I want to go to Hawaii. All right. Bye-bye. I want to go to Hawaii. Yay! Yay! Hello? Jim, I'm calling on behalf of wireless through which you can get a free cell phone worth hundred dollar. Yay, I love cell phones. Yay, I'm gonna get a free cell phone. Yay, that's great. Okay, sir, with that you're also getting a hundred dollar worth package of And I'm gonna get a hundred dollars, yay, a free cell phone and a hundred dollars, yay, that's great. You'll be getting five calling features free. I'm going to get five calling features free, too. Yay! Yay! That's great. And, sir, you're also getting $30 cash for base, which comes to you as a... $30 cash? Yay! I'm going to get $30 cash. Yay! Yay! That's great. And, sir, with that, you're not paying anything over the phone. You're not signing any contract. I'm not going to pay anything over the phone. Yay! Yay! That's great. 
Okay, and so and uh, you have the 30 days time to plan to decide on that. I have 30 days to decide. Yay! Yay! That's great. And sir, if you ended up not liking keeping it with you, you can anytime time get it cancelled and you won't be paying If I don't like it, I can get it cancelled. Yay! Yay! That's great! Uh, sir, would you like to register yourself? I can register myself. Yay! Yay! I can register myself. That's great! Sir, would you be interested? Yes, I'd be interested. Yay! Yay! I'm going to be interested. Yay! That's great! So why didn't you give me a few personal details and I'll... Sh I'll give you some personal details. Yay, yay, that's great. I'm going to give you personal details. Uh, sir, would you please spell your first name? Yay, I'm going to spell my first name. Yay, yay, that's great. Uh, yay. Sir... Would you be interested in getting a free cell phone? Yay, a free cell phone! Yay, yay, I want a free cell phone! Yay, that's great! Uh, just hold on, sir. I'll get back to you in a second. You're gonna get back to me in a second? Yay, yay! For pharmacy, this is... Do you have... cough syrup? Which kind of cough syrup? Uh, the kind... That makes you sleepy. There's a lot of those out there. It just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, my mom calls it sleepy Kool-Aid. Oh, no. I love cough syrup. What kind of, what kind of cough syrup do you want? The happy kind. Who is this? This is... Ed. Ed who? I don't have an Ed in our computer. Yeah. Ed? Yeah. Yeah. What's your phone number? Yeah. Ed? Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello, who's this? This is Gabriel. Gabriel, hi, this is Special Eduardo. Do you guys have the best melons in town? They're all right. My friend Timmy says that my mom has the best melons in town. Yay! Oh, that's nice of her. Yeah, she got good melons. Hooray for you. You want to come over tonight in my house and see my mommy's melons? Not really. You want to come over tonight and see my brother's balls? No. Do you just want to come over tonight and watch TV with me? No. You want to come over tonight and see my sister's butt? No. Why not? I don't want to see anything you want me to see. Why? Because I don't. What, are you blind? You can't see anything? No. Can you just come over tonight then? No. My dog's got a red rocket. Yay! I'm going to go ride the rocket. Wow. Can I go bowling help you? Hi, is this a bowling alley? Right. Listen, uh, I got a little problem here. Uh, I'm watching my son tonight, and he's a special kid. And um, you know what I mean by that, right? Uh-huh. And he's here with his friend, M, and they're both special kids. And I wanted to take them bowling, but they're scared to go because apparently they took a field trip with their center there a few years ago, and they were scared of the noise and the pins and all that. Would you mind getting on the phone with them on the speakerphone and, and just tell them that there's nothing to be worried about? No. Okay, hold on a second. Guys, this is the guy. What's your name? My name's Jim. Jim. This is Jim from the bowling alley. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm scared. Me too. Nah, uh, you guys. Me and my friend M. Hey, well, let me we tell you. Hurt. Hey, guys, hey guys, we do. He's crying because... right now. Sometimes it hurts me. I don't like it. Okay, hey guys, listen mm -hmm. up here. Bowling's not gonna hurt you. 
But this is also going to be the last time you can bowl here because we're being forced out of business, so the bowling alley closes. You're closing, yay! You're closing, yay! Ed, that's not nice that they, they're closing. They're going to be closed, and we can't go. Uh, but tell them that you're going to be open, and tell them what they can do tonight, all the fun things they can do. Well, you can come out, you can bowl, you can play games. we got video games. I like video games. I like them. I like them. Can I light a fire there? No, you can't <laughs> light a fire here. Yeah. Ed, 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 Edwin, we don't light fires anymore. You know that. Now stop that. You have sodas, lady? It's not a lady. It's a gentleman, Ed. We have soda pop. I like pop. I, I dig pop. So, yes. uh, you like that, right? Can we get beer? Pardon? No, no. No, Emmy, you can't drink beer. Do you remember what happened the last time you drank beer? Can my uh, friend have uh, beer? No, he can't. Lady! He can't have I, beer. I can drink a little bit. My mama said she, she going to give me some when I No, no, that's how you wound up like this. No, we, you know, you can drink root no. beer. You remember we drank root beer and you enjoyed it? No, we want beer. No, no. no. Okay. Jim, no, sir, Jim, I got, I gotta go. Jim, Jim, just could I, could, could we make a reservation or something like that? Oh, I just come on out. Okay, we'll be all right. We won't have to wait too long because these kids, sometimes they get crazy. They'll, you know, they take off their clothes. They... They'll Stop. masturbate Stop. at the, I mean, in public, it gets crazy. It really does. Hey, Jim, yes, can I grab out. your balls? Stop that, Ed. Stop that. I told can you I not to Can I grab your say balls, that. lady? You can't grab. It's not a lady. Okay, so, Jim, um, we're going to be by there in just a little bit. Okay. Um, I'll look for you. Beer, get my swerve on. Yeah, you'll get your swerve on. It's going to be fun. And then just tell I will, I will too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill my mom. I'm no. going to kill my daddy. All right, sir. We'll I'm talk to you later. I'm going to get my on. No, uh, okay, I'm going to come down here. Right, I'm going to give me some more. Three strikes make a turkey, lady. Jim. Good afternoon. Hi, this is John. Who am I speaking with? Miss Wilson. How you doing, Miss Wilson? I'm just I'm moving into the area, and I'm trying to enroll my son in um, your program. Okay, what kind of services? Uh, are you a paying parent or are you on child care assistance? He's my son by just like a baby mother. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to homeschool him, but it ain't really been working too good. So I'm trying How old is the child? Eight years old. He should be in school if he's eight. We can't uh, provide the services. He's a little special. I need somebody to just give him some extra help because I need help with him because he... It's on my nerves. Yay! We are going to have a tutorial services, and I can take your name and number and give it to that person. Hello? Who, who's this? Ed, I'm on the phone. I, uh, who, who's this? Ed, Ed, put the phone down. Is this Mrs. Wilson? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Ed. Do you got dirt there? Ed, Ed, get off the phone. Mrs. Wilson, do you have dirt? See, this is what I'm talking about, Mrs. I Wilson. I love eating dirt. Yay! Ed. You want to eat some dirt with me, Mrs. Ed. Wilson? Ed. Sand? I don't. I, th I thank, thank you for your call, but I don't think we're going to be able to provide y'all with service. How you doing, mister? You got candy there? Yes. Yeah, see, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's like I can't do anything without the child interrupting me. I love eating Just dirt. all up under me and just saying all kind of Yay! crazy stuff. What do you call those kids? Is that, there a place for me to poop? Tourette oh, well, syndrome? I, I program, well, I don't think we better, like I said, provide you the services that you need. I'm just about ready to pull my hair out and just strangle this dog. Yay! Kid. Uh you see what I had to deal with, though? I had to deal with this every day, all day. I can't even get on the well, phone. Well, you got my prayers, but we already closed. <coughs> Yay! Can you help? I'm getting strangled. So we already closed. I'm getting neck hugs. So you just called the university, and they me. might be able to help getting you out. neck hugs. Yay! Shut up, You got man. it? Get on the phone. I'm tired of you messing with me when I'm on the phone. I'm just trying to get you some doggone help. Will you sit down and shut Yay. the hell up? I'm sorry, Miss Wilson. 